Hello. Welcome to another stream. Uh, let's see, what is today? Uh, it's Monday, I know that much. It is May 18th of 2020. Oh man. <laughs> A little bit later than usual, but we're, we're here. We're, we're making it happen. Um, hey, what's up, RKJ and Andrew Lane X and JB Pratt and Guy B. You're actually here earlier than usual. Usually you show up later in the stream, although maybe it's just because I'm streaming later, but you know. Either either way, um, I've fixed, oh my god, I fixed my, my stream deck. <laughs> it finally works. It's so stupid. Um, let me, um, let me show you what I did. <laughs> it's really dumb. <laughs> it's really, really dumb. Um, oh, that was loud. Well, it's because my volume is way up. That. Um, <laughs> the solution is really dumb. I don't really understand why. I talked to my keyboard friend and he's like, that's whack. That d I feel like that shouldn't be necessary, but uh, we'll, we'll see what's up with that. This Git status takes forever because it's Windows and, you know, Windows and files and subprocesses and all sorts of stuff are slow, so. Holy crap, this is taking forever. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, I believe. Jesus, I should really just memorize. There we go. I really only did that so that I could. Uh, yeah, scripts, baby. Keyboards. What? Key keyboards. <laughs> I saw keybo and I typed the wrong thing. Key maps. Uh, I don't know. Slash keymap.c. Okay, this is the, this is my keybit file. And this is my terrible fix for um, <laughs> for my keyboard problems. Um, <clears throat> so in order to switch scenes, like usually I'm working inside my virtual machine. Uh, this is this is a VM, and in order to escape the VM, I have an escape character. Which uh, there we go. Sneaky OBS scene shenanigans, but you can see see in the bottom right hand corner down here uh, It says right control. So that's the key to escape. So if I'm in the VM It has this little green thing if I hold right control and let go It will escape the VM which is a little black thing and if I press it again, it'll go back into the VM And so in order to send signals to OBS, I need to be outside of my virtual machine context Uh, yeah, so I need to escape the VM context in order to send commands to OBS. And so that's what this um, that's what this X right control is. This is to escape the VM. Then I found that I needed to tap the key four times in order for OBS to pick it up. I don't know why I needed four. When I did it with one and when I did it with a sleep, it's, it wasn't consistent. Um, and even with three key taps, it still wasn't very consistent. Oh, hey, what's up, Jug Mac? Hello, hello. Um, but four seem to do the do the things. Now, you know, I can even if I'm in the VM context, I can switch scenes and it works. Which I'm super excited about. <laughs> it's it's kinda dumb, but you know, it it at least works now. The keyboard does what it was intended to do. Oh yeah, and this is this is the keyboard that I'm talking about. Um, so this one is face, and this one is the normal scene, and this is the be right back, and these are my my YouTube recording one. Anyway, it works. Hey, what's up, Michaela? Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Um, you joining the exercise? I found you on Reddit. Oh boy. What did you find me on Reddit? Is this my user profile? Oh <laughs> no, this is somebody. <laughs> okay, I thought, I thought you had actually found me on Reddit. <laughs> This is, uh, <laughs> this is pretty good. I like this. <laughs> Control C, V, keyboard. <clears throat> That's good. I like it. What dang to this time? Hey, what's up, Project? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Uh, first it says, why don't you leave the stream deck, leave the stream deck unattached from the VM. You can designate it to the host. So it is, it is, uh, detached from the VM. 
So if you look um, in here, if we look at devices, it's not attached. There's no check mark next to Kibio BDN9. Um, but the way VirtualBox does keyboards is it decides where to send keys from keyboards based on whether you're in the VM context or not. And so even if it's not attached, the keyboard keys will get sent to the VM. So that's why I have to do the shenanigans. Okay, this says, how are you doing, Anthony? I'm doing all right. Um, stayed up a little late last night, so I had a, a late start this morning. So that's why we're streaming a little bit later than I, I usually would like to. Um, but other than that, I'm doing well. Um, despite staying up too late, I got enough sleep, so that's that's good. I'm feeling good about that. Did my morning exercise. I caught three shiny Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I recorded two YouTube videos before this. I don't know, today's been a good day. And hello again, Project. Uh, that's kind of a cool username. I like it. <clears throat> Oh, Michaela, have you seen the new uh, the new chat here? Have you have you been here since we did this? <clears throat> now it says nice prompt. Shaman is. I don't know why you want me to do a unicorn prompt. I don't. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I don't know what's up. I don't know why. Why, man? <laughs> um, I eat bogey says recommendation of comparing lists without order and pie test. Can't think of a very nice solution without resorting to unit test. Um, so one way is you could use, uh, you, basically you want to check whether they contain the same values. Um, one way that you can do that is if they're hashable, you can use a set. So like, oh look, I'm already in my, <laughs> my YouTubes. Uh, if they're hashable, you can do something like assert set A equals set B. Oh, pie test. So this is one way to do that. What do you mean pie test is not installed? Oh, I forgot to actually install it. <laughs> Good job, me. Sarcastic Dante says, wanna be friends? Oh. oh, no, no, no. No. Oh my God, those are so fucking annoying. There's this, so what Sarcastic Dante is referencing is there's this, this, dude who comments on like everybody's videos and like all of my videos it's it's logan and it just says want to be friends want to be friends <laughs> i don't i don't fucking get it i wish the guy would go away but also comments are good for youtube videos so i don't say anything so i just let it happen but it's it's weird it's creepy uh but anyway back to this so pi test t.py so if you don't care about counts and you don't, and you have all hashables, then that will work. Uh, if you do care about hashability, so let's do class C uh, hash equals none. So we're gonna make it unhashable. And we're going to make it equality. If not is instance other C return not implemented return self dot x equals other dot x. So this is kind of our basic equality operator. So if we take this same example again, now sets is, are not going to work here because the C's are not hashable. Oh man, you guys are saying a lot of stuff in chat. I will catch up in a sec once we. I gotta finish this example. <laughs> oh god, typing all these prints is a real pain. So this will not work. We'll get a type error here. Unhashable type C. And the way you can get around that is to use a good old friend from the collections module, collections.counter. Collections.counter. And it'd be great if I there's my C++ coming through. C out instead of count. Uh, oh wait, does counters not deal with hashables too? Huh. I could have sworn counters did. Hmm. Hmm. So you would need to make a... Huh. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm wrong. 
<laughs> There's got to be a better way. Uh, but I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Shoot! <clears throat> really? I thought all you needed was equality. Hold on a sec. Click in three collections. Uh, okay, let me let me catch back up. Let's see. Let's see. Michaela says, oh, I was thinking it looked different, but I didn't know why. Yeah, it has badges and colors. It's all fancy now. GabyBBB says, man, I got to bed at 7 a.m. today and woke up at 15 p.m. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I eat buggy says, duplicates matter. Okay, well, then we'll have to make this work properly. Broom says, want to be friends? <laughs> yes. Parsit says, I saw your Minecraft stream and how you dropped from the platform. Oh, <laughs> yeah, when I just, like, jumped off the edge because I was being dumb. Yeah. Fortunately, in that mod, um, so I was playing on Shoddy57, which is my friend who streams video games. Um, we were playing Minecraft yesterday, and we might play today. I don't know. I know. Um, but yeah, we were playing modded Sky Factory 4, which is fun. Uh, K Biggs says, Hey Anthony, quick question. I've predominantly been a Golang and C Sharp developer, but I'm moving companies to a really fast paced startup that uses Python. I know a bit of Vim, but I'm wondering how easy it is to be productive on a very large code base as I've only used it on smaller ones. Ooh, that one's a tricky one. Um, so I've worked on a couple of extremely, well, I've worked on one two extremely large Python code bases. And it, there is definitely a different curve to it because like, you know, since it's a dynamic language, it's a lot harder to do like jump to definition and those sorts of things. But as long as your, your peers are working with uh, software best practices and such, and like trying to make sure that the code is, is high quality, like you can sometimes navigate it similar to how you would a strongly typed code base. Um, but yeah, it definitely gets a lot harder to maintain as you make bigger and bigger Python code bases. Um, but I don't know, get good at get grep and um, use use an IDE if you can, uh, or you know set up whatever C tags and such for Vim. Um, oh, you, you did say you're using Vim, so um, there's some plugins that make stuff work a little bit better. I don't know, I <laughs> I got by with a editor that had none of those features. Um, and still was pretty productive, so um, I don't know. I think it's it's definitely doable, is what I want to say. Hey, what's up, Fal Falon four three seven? Thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. <laughs> Damn it, Nalish. <laughs> uh, Michaela says want a beef rinse. The what? <laughs> Oh, want to be friends? Oh, <laughs> it's like what the fuck is a be friends? <laughs> uh, Mario says, yeah, and that's a fake account which re links to a real account. Yeah, the way it works, it's like a pyramid scheme of um, of like fake accounts that are trying to get people to subscribe to a parent account so that um, I don't know, it promotes that account or whatever. I don't know why YouTube hasn't done anything about it yet. It seems like a pretty big problem given like all the channels I've seen that it's happening to. Uh, let's make a script that deletes them. We could do that. <laughs> so if anyone posts want to be friends, it just auto deletes. Uh, then we have to play with the YouTube API and I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, Angelina X has another Reddit link. So I went to the bottom of the music playlist today, so we might get new different music today. So that should be that should be a fun one. But it also means we probably won't hear the drop song. Um, <clears throat> bots against bots. Yeah, we'll we'll play we'll play bot warfare. Want to be friends on Discord? I think we're already friends on Discord, sarcastic Dante. Hey, what's up? Is identical. Hello, hello. Beeps, beeps and boops. Yep. Mary says, "Is that bot on the left open source?" Yes, it is. Let me get you the link for that. Um, I think we pushed up the latest version. Yes, fearless concurrency. <laughs> so yeah, this should be up to date. Uh, I just put the link in the chat. Want to be accountability buddies on Cornhub? What is Cornhub? 
But do I want to know what Cornhub is? Maybe not. Uh, counter is a dick subclass, so it needs to be hashable objects. Yes. I swore there was a, um... Where there is a counter for not hashable objects. Um, you can make one, of course. But then you gotta build, then you gotta build a, fun a function for it. Um, and what? That would be n squared. Did you read the Reddit thread? No, I skipped it. But I, I've, I've, you know, I've done a little bit of research into it. Um, <clears throat> did that say Python dot pizza? Yes. There's a conference. I don't know what, um, I don't know what showed up Python. Oh, as I was typing the address bar? Yeah, this is a, this is a conference. Um, a couple of my friends at Yelp are, uh, organizers for this, I want to say. Could be wrong? I don't remember. But they actually had a pretty good speaker lineup last time. I didn't watch it, though, because I was doing something else. Streaming, maybe? <laughs> Uh, 20 for the April. What, what what day would that have been? That was a Saturday. Yeah, sorry, I was streaming. So. Uh, da, 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 da. I eat bogey says to make it even more complicated, I want to compare dictionaries with lists as values where order doesn't matter and duplicates matter. Oh, how would you do this with unit test? Oh, there's the like assert count sequel or something like that, but it's like not actually what it says it is. You could you could write your own function that does that. Uh, Mr. Wormhole says open source Python. What are you contributing to? So we're gonna be doing we're gonna be reviewing some pull requests today, and then I'm gonna be doing some closed source Python. <laughs> I mean, technically it's gonna be open because like you guys will be able to see the code and um, it's dealing with a bunch of open source technologies. But I'm planning to build a CI system that I may or may not monetize. So might. Might end up being open source at the end, like depending on how it goes. Uh, but that's that's the plan for today. Hey, Big says, how do you rate high charm? So I used to use IntelliJ, and I really liked it, but it was too slow for me, so I've stopped using it. Hey, thank you for the Prime subscription, K Bigs. Uh, that's appreciated. <clears throat> um, but yeah, high charms, high charms, good. It's, and the community version, there's a free version, right? Uh, there didn't used to be a free version. Uh, hey, what's up, Mr. Wormhole? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Where is all of my stuff today? Oh. Okay, now I can see the... <laughs> like, where's the viewer count? How many people are here? Uh, we got 59 of you today. That's quite a few. Uh, uh, make a counter for each key and compare all the counters for all the keys. Yeah, that would work. Uh, but I think, like, the easiest way would be to just, you know have a list of marks and do a two-way iteration or figure out how the unit test method works. Uh, this song, this song's got some, got some beat. I like it. <laughs> uh, the land is pretty good. Man, I'm so far behind it, chat. I will, I'm, I'm trying to catch up. We're going to do that first. <laughs> Galan is pretty good too, come to think of it. Oh yeah, that's another, uh, JetBrains IDE. The whole IDE is made in Java, so I guess it makes sense for Java and .NET does. Personally, I think VS Code is better for Go, but I have no idea about GoLand. Hmm, well, I, I haven't used an IDE for Go. I've only used uh, text editors. Come on, it'd be a great opportunity to leak your YouTube OAuth creds. I don't know about that, Parsit. I don't know about that. And this is Bitcoin goes brrrr. Europe supercomputers hijacked by attackers for crypto mining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, Sarcastic Dante says, I can only speak of Sea Lion and PyCharm, but both are slow as fuck and barely responsive. There was also this one extension of Visual Studio made by them, also slow as fuck. <laughs> I mean, uh, what? Hashtag Java? <laughs> uh, Python up pizza in Hamburg. This, this site makes me hungry. Yes. It was a um, a real real life conference, but they've switched to. Uh, they have switched to virtual because of, you know, the Rona. <laughs> uh, third count equal for list. So you can always look at the implementation. 
let's see if it's similar to what I was suggesting of like a, a mark mark and sweep kind of deal unit test case that pie is that where this third count equal Oh, see, they have a separate helper. So they were, <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Count diff all purpose. Oh, look at this jump to definition. This is slick. This is, this is good. I like it. Turns a list of triples where the counts differ. Uh, so they copy the two inputs. Salt. Okay, so they loop over all of the values in one of the lists, and they, yeah, so it's n squared. And they basically keep a counter for each of the values. And then they do it in the opposite direction and differ them. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, you could basically follow this same algorithm to do the same. Here they're just using equality, which would work for the uh, object, but it, it looks like there isn't a, a helper that's pure PyTest that does this. Um, but yeah. Function specific to tests is a code smell I don't really like. Yeah, that's fair. Although a lot of my projects end up with stuff like that. So I'll have like a tests directory for my actual tests and then we'll have some, uh, my friend used to call it yellow code. I don't know why he called it yellow code or if that's like a term that other people use. Uh, but he, I don't know, I don't know. That, that might not be a thing. <laughs> might also not be PC, but uh, he would call these, these sorts of functions like yellow code. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, I have a bunch of like test only functionality that I get. Feels like a smell and so it's it's kind of a, a thing. Is that an uncle says Anthony writes proprietary code? Yeah. God, I can't catch up. Why do you guys keep talking so much? Logan posted another comment, really, Angelinex? Really? Or did you post a comment because you're trolling? New comment. Oh he did post another one. Why? Leave me alone, Logan. <clears throat> We're not friends on Discord. You'll have to send me an invite, Sarcastic Dante. Uh, the Elm Service says, hello there. I hope you're doing all right and your day was awesome. It's going, it's going well so far. Started a little bit late, but it's going well so far. Uh, that's not a bit, Nalish. You didn't, you didn't even. When are you going to play my game live on stream? I haven't played it yet to get good at it. Once I'm good enough at it, I'll play it. I have been playing, oh, I have been playing a lot of, uh, of the, uh, big boy Minesweeper. Oh, uh, where is that? I've gotten it down to slightly under 420, which, um, I'm pretty hyped about. My first game was like 10 plus minutes, but, um, and compared to normal expert, I'd say that's pretty decent. Like my normal expert is, um, what, 6, 645 or no, 645, 145. So I'm, I'm getting there. It's a lot of unfamiliar patterns though, which makes uh, <laughs> my camera's in the way. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, derp. Um <clears throat> Export Hijack's client computer to mine bitcoins. That also doesn't surprise me. That's why I do my own tech support. Or I just get new devices when things break. Uh cryptocurrency is a wretched hive of scum and villainy, yes. Uh also looks weird. Why does the supercomputer cluster have access to the internet? Yeah, that's a little bit weird. I agree. Dave Pratt says, I wish it worked more often, but it's nice. I think it's either still beta or at least a few months ago. Wait, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, what's up, Juicebox Hero? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, aren't you supposed to be at work? I guess you work at Twitch, so you can get away with... Uh, um, you know, you're testing the product. <laughs> uh, now it hides from the Twitch staff. Don't eat the yellow code. <laughs> uh, 
the grumpy Twitch staffer again. All right, Parsit. <clears throat> and everyone chat more, so Anthony's forced to read chat all day without keeping up. Yeah, it's gonna be the just chatting. I should I should really just switch my category, right? Um, Logan did a face reveal. No way. I don't, I don't believe you. Seems it seems fake news. Uh. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Hacker. <laughs> You're a sweaty loser. <laughs> this is a different account than the other one. It's wild though. <clears throat> my bogey says, I wrote a mine Minecraft. I wrote a Minesweeper solver using a sat solver for my CS dissertation. Haven't played Minesweeper since. I love Minesweeper. I really like Minesweeper. <laughs> Nerd! Uh, wasn't there a quantum PC available to the public? I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm testing the platform. There we go. <laughs> Alright, Juice. <clears throat> Dog fooding, yes. Uh, article? I think this URL is valid. Must be a dash here. Maybe there is supposed to be a dash of space there. Seems, seems... Anyway, I'll take your word for it. Oh, you copied the... Well, I see. And that was in 2016, that's way back. I am is now letting... I thought it said not letting, I was like, what? <laughs> that's cool. I don't know what you're gonna do with qubits, though. But... How much? How much? Where's where's the dollar sign? How much does it cost? You tell me, chat. I love you so much. <clears throat> this is where I am now. Wait, what was now? I just fun. A trolley, a big problem. Oh, I see. Uh, one Brazilian dollars. Isn't that like negative money at this point? Okay, I'm caught up. <laughs> Do you guys want me to actually implement this this well you said you didn't like it. Um but you could uh you can copy the you can copy the code from the standard lib. We're not gonna do this. Um okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do today is I wanted to review some code reviews. I have a few in my inbox. Um one of them is going to be really easy. So we'll do the really easy one first. I think this one's just rubber stamp and ship it. Uh, but these are submitted by my friend Max. Uh, resolves question mark. Uh, let's, uh, let's just remove the question mark. So GitHub has this nice little feature where if you use the text resolves or fixes or closes, um, it will auto close the issue when the PR gets merged. Which is pretty cool. Uh, parse more operators and requirements. <clears throat> Hey, you can have a triple equals? Or three. How? Right? This... <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Is this is this the right regex that I'm thinking of here? Import re, re dot compile this guy. What's going on? <laughs> you guys are seeing this, right? I'm typing on the keyboard. Nothing's happening. That was weird. Uh, reg dot match. Why do we have triple equals? Is this post to match? Oops. I feel like triple equals is not needed there. <clears throat> uh, okay, Boo, I have a meeting. Be back later. All right, Boo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I Boo now? <laughs> what? I'll see, see you around. Um, I'm not trolleying him, so I'm not <laughs> concerned. All right, now, Edge. Uh, as long as they don't check my browser history. Mm -mm. 
one is fake. FBI just wanted to see if anyone has any cheeky algorithms. Oh. I was like, boo hiss, by the way, not calling anyone my boo. Okay, all right. <laughs> Commas are important. <laughs> uh, yikes. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Cobra Pine? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Logan was blocking your CPU and preventing you from typing. Oh, no. Logan is taking over. Uh, <laughs> uh, officially boo now. Oh no, tube worm. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Did you typo hissing on purpose there, Nalish? That, um... That one, uh, hmm... Michaela says, I have a meeting with some Dragon Age 2. I had to come hang out a little bit, though. Well, thanks for stopping by, Michaela. Have from fun programmerizing. I will, uh... <laughs> never mind, I will never come back to this stream. Goodbye forever. Oh, no. Why, why would you leave forever, Juice? Uh, GDH says, hello, hello. My PR finally got merged to PyTest. Oh, nice. Uh, which one, which one was that? <clears throat> this one. Yeah, I feel like I'm all over the place today. You guys are all talking in chat. It's, it's crazy. Uh, added error from commands that are run. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm glad, glad it finally got merged. Um, sorry it took so long. We, um, we had some, uh, some politi political issues in the PyTest project, which, if you guys were following the stream from a couple weeks ago I talked a little bit about that but that's all been resolved now so we're all um we're all well <laughs> all minus the the problem are back working on PyTest which is really exciting and uh that's probably why it finally got merged but there was uh there was a period of time where PyTest looked a little dead in the water um but we're, we're starting to burn down this pull request count it was up to like 60 or 70 so it, um, in a lot better, a lot better place now. Um, but I never really got this. I feel like maybe he meant one comma two until separate. A raw binary regex matching not a white space and then a semicolon or a white space. Uh, <laughs> Why did this code change? Oh, I see, because there's more. There's more code before here. This is trying to match egg URLs. This is until set. This is non white space character. Uh, what is this doing? The regex seems to indicate a single. Am I reading this regex right? Yeah, single. Uh, oh, I see. A non white space character followed by. Why is there this at the front? Followed by anything that's not a semicolon or a white space. So it can't start with a semicolon? Uh. <clears throat> so it tries to match a name and then oh, oh this is different from that Uh, but then other than that, this, this looks fine. Well, otherwise looks fine. Thanks for the patch. Cool, one of them out of the way. <laughs> uh, sarcastic Dante says, notice us! I noticed you. Um, hey, what's up? Uh, Gillian, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> the typo is non-intentional. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, Shazrobot? Hello, hello. 
EDH says, please tell us about the political issue in as brief as possible. Um, three of the four core devs were tired of dealing with a fourth core dev who is not being the nicest, and so we temporarily left the project to try and resolve that. And then we resolved it. There's the TLDR. Uh, Dynamax saying, somebody was spoiling the fun seems to happen in more open source projects. Yes. Hey, what's up, Geek Panther? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Patrick Pye says, is there a possibility that Precommit uses a different configuration on CI than the one I have locally? I'm running Precommit on all the files locally, but it's still different than CI. No, it'll use the same configuration. But if I had to guess what you're running into, uh, just, just a wild ass guess, you know. <laughs> Reorder Python imports. My guess is that you're running against a different Python version and that's causing differences in behaviors in one or more of the tools. Um, and this issue has more information on that. This is particularly with, with data classes. Um, and so you need to make sure that you're matching. Like if, if you have version specific code, you need to make sure that you're matching the interpreter version on CI and locally, otherwise, you may end up with differences in behavior. And this is also true for PyFlakes as well, and MyPy, and a few other tools that um, work slightly different under different versions of Python. Um, but yeah, it's just, this is just software that happens. And Paul says, hey there, thanks for the PyTest slash parameterized video. I don't write tests that often, but it made me try and was so easy and quick to do with that feature. Awesome. Glad it, glad it helped it out, helped, helped you out. Uh, Patrick Bryce says, thanks, Black seems to use a different line length. I'm trying to pin the Python version to the one I have locally. Oh, really? That's not what I expect. I didn't know Black had any assumptions about version. That's really weird. Uh, how are you using Black? Are you using it through the PSF configuration? Are you using rev stable? Is that, is that the problem? Because um, I have another link for that. Uh, is that rev stable is not a supported workflow, despite it looking like it works. And I've been planning to add a warning for it, but haven't haven't gotten around to that. Um, but that's that's my new guess is that <laughs> you're using rev stable, which you which you should not do. You should run precommit auto update, and it will fix the. Uh, It'll fix your versions for you and stop you from using rev stable. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's your problem. That's uh, definitely your problem because black changed its behavior around line length recently. So if you go here, the other ones that are problematic. Wait, no, this looks fine. What? Yeah, this code looks fine. Uh, do you have a pull request that's changing it? What is the PR that you link me to? 323. No? Pretty much config didn't change here. Uh, your config looks fine, so it must be something else. Uh, the last one, there's a check that's failing. Oh yeah, I didn't actually look at the output. because I didn't. Not particularly helpful, I don't think. Uh, I mean, why did this happen? Oh, I start ran. My guess is that the hooks were not run locally, given what I'm seeing here. This looks like the hooks were not run locally, like they were skipped. Because um, I'm pretty sure if I ran this locally, I would get the same ISORT change here. Uh, have you ever contributed to Django? Uh, I don't think so. Or at least not directly. I've probably contributed in other ways. The requests. Author me. Nope. Um... Let's see if they ran pi upgrade on their code. Yep, so I've indirectly oh man, they, they closed this. This didn't happen. 
Uh, I guess maybe it didn't happen. It almost happened. <laughs> I almost indirectly contributed, uh, but I, I've contributed to some like Django plugins. But I don't, I don't use Django myself. That's uh, that's um, yeah. That's why I haven't uh, <laughs> worked with Django. All right, these songs are new, so it's uh. Throw me off a little bit. Uh, I'll try again and we'll report back. Sounds good. But yeah, my, my, you know, from what I'm looking at, it looks like it shouldn't, um, it should reproduce locally in the same. Okay, one PR out of the way. Uh, let's look at the next one. Uh, oh, we actually have three to look at. This one's a little bit more complicated and might be a little bit harder to implement. GH says, how long does it take to become a maintainer? Um, uh, it depends. <laughs> there isn't like a set time and it, it differs from project to project. Um, what it really ends up being is like you contribute a lot and like people notice that you contribute a lot and then, then that's kind of how you become a maintainer-ish. Um, on PyTest, I had a little bit of a foot in the door because I was working on other stuff related to the project. So it was, you know, probably three or four patches for me. Um, but for some other people, it might be, you know, five or six or ten or who knows. I don't, there's no, like, set value there. Um... This should be slightly different. Let's actually just clone this branch. We're going to clone it on Windows, too. <laughs> We're going to do some Windows deb debugging, which is going to be not the most fun. Pre-commit hooks. MCR, there we go. <laughs> uh, We're going to do the Black Parade of GitHub. Uh, get fetch all oh, prune. <laughs> the bot got you this time. It's a one in ten, so uh, RNG was not in your favor, Shaz Robot. Let me check out get file mode. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's these special no cover comments and the opposite of win32 no cover is win32 cover um well, let's fix that up i actually think that this should be testable on both platforms so i'm going to remove the no cover comment here and we'll make sure there's some unit tests for that um Yes. Uh, check has shebang. This is only used. This is used in all platforms, so this should still get covered. Yeah. Let's move that there. And we'll see what the tests look like. That. <clears throat> Pseudo RNG. Yeah. I am also not super confident in the random number generator because it seems. It seems a little bit sus to me. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to be very consistent. Um, and even when I was setting it to like 90%, it was not happening 90% of the time. Or at least it did not seem like it was happening 90% of the time. So there's. There's something a little bit strange going on with async IO and random, or maybe I'm a little bit paranoid. <laughs> it just felt like it was not decent. Shrugs. I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, hey, what's up, Juan Esquire? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Sorry that I <laughs> mispronounced your name, but welcome to the stream. Hope your day is going well. Mine is mine's pretty well. 
can't complain. I'm in a great mood right now. Everything, everything's going well. I'm, uh, I'm happy with what's, what's going on today. Um, let's see. Hey, what's up? I am new to draw. Thank you for the follow. Welcome as well. I'm new to draw says, hey, you're doing Python. I just started working with Python today. Any tips? Um, let's see. I really need to make this into a video. <laughs> Um, but if you're just starting out with Python, I usually recommend two websites to get started. One of them is learnpython.org, which has some pretty basic tutorials. I'm not so fond of their later tutorials, but their their beginning stuff is pretty good. Uh, what's the other one? realpython.org. Uh, and this has some more in-depth stuff. But I find that those are pretty good for learning stuff. Uh, but my biggest suggestion if you're going to learn new things is to find a project to build and execute on that um at least that's how i learn is like you know execution driven learning where like if i'm motivated to build something that i want i will learn better as i'm you know googling and searching documentation for how to implement that but anyway that's my advice there <clears throat> stanislav says look at other people's projects to find small gems of knowledge yeah that works too but it like if you're you're just starting out with programming it's kind of hard to understand you know other people's code i think um i don't know maybe that's maybe that's that's my thoughts there. <laughs> could could be wrong but development driven development yeah there we go too worm uh i'm also doing a udemy course where you make games like what is that i don't know what that is <laughs> Okay, well, I'll take your word for it then. You know what, Nexus? I posted a video on YouTube. Let's see if Logan can find me. He's gonna get you, Andrew Lenex. He's gonna find you, buddy. He's gonna wanna be friends. Uh, I think driven development, gotta learn to type first. Which typing? Like keyboard typing or type typing? Also, now PHP, Java, MySQL, and JavaScript. Oh well, then you'll be able to. Uh, you'll probably be able to pick up Python pretty quickly then. Also, just be a programmer, and not a hacker man. Uh, we haven't we haven't we haven't seen a hacker man in a while. I don't know what what he's up to. Uh, I'll go see if I can find him. Well, well, we'll be right back. We'll, we'll go find the hacker man. Hello, guys. We found him. We found the hacker man. He's here. Thank you, uh, P. Murphy seventy six for the follow. Welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the stream. Um, time to write some code. <laughs> Chancellor Mod's only friend is Logan. He's a good guy. new project do you struggle to find motivation during the documentation phase what documentation phase we're a hacker man we just we just write code we don't worry about docs docs for plebs no that's not true um i do i mean yeah i struggle with motivation a lot as well um i understand that it's often difficult to get started on new things mostly just because they're like new and uh yeah i i feel that I don't really know that I have any advice there either. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, Arnold learns to code. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> but yeah, we're we're ready to we're ready to hack, boys. <laughs> KJ says, "Oh shit, what did you do with Bernie? Where did he go?" <laughs> uh, wow, do you work with anonymous? Oh, I have a good clip about this. Um, not on YouTube. Clips. Uh, Please be gentle, senpai. No, it's not that one. Uh, this one. An old clip. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do, we not, do forgive. not forgive. We do, we do not, not forget. forget. Expect, Expect us. us.
Oh, this is before the, the Hacker Man spiel. Uh, speaking of music, let's oh, play. We're good. Uh, da, da, da. Hey, what's up, Kenbiko? Welcome back. Uh, writing of the documentation. I find... I don't know. I find, like, when I build projects, I don't really spend all that much time documenting. Like, I try and prototype first, and then once I've decided on how I want to do it, then I'll write some docs to some extent, I guess. <laughs> Mumi Jamala says, if you have enough motivation to get far enough to have documentation, you're already doing better than me. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I am new to draw says I am new to donate to Twitch streamers. Any tips which I need to donate? I have 25 euro left. What do you mean? Usually there's, you know, most streamers have like a, a donate button, which I believe I have one on channel. I think <laughs> I put one there at one point. Shush. Um, but yeah, most of them are just like, you know, click a donate button, follow, follow tips or follow links, or you can subscribe or you can, you know, bits or However you want to interact with the platform. Um, oh, is that 25,000? That's a lot of money. You should not donate 25,000 to Twitch people. That's that's insane. Hey, what's up, Overlord? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you should play this in the background if you want to be a hacker man. Uh, well, I try and pick not copyrighted music so that I can put it up on YouTube. Um, this is definitely copyrighted music. So we probably can't do that um the rick roll is top four of all time yeah this is a pretty good rick roll there's another rick roll recently but it was me rick rolling you guys so it was a little bit different okay anyway heck man we gotta write code <laughs> talk stashy pi 3 8 we'll see what talks has to say about this um we might need to write some tests for max um because my guess is that some of this code is not covered and we can quickly uh, quickly write some code there. Uh, we're missing coverage from 29 to 64. Uh, checks executables have shebangs. Really long file to end. Okay, so that's all the way. Really? All of this is uncovered. Really? What? Really? How did this code change then? Uh, hmm. What did the old code do? We just read the first two bytes of the file and printed a message. What does the new code do? Why are none of the tests covering this? Skip NT and skip POSIX. Should be win32 cover. Uh, huh. Test has shebang. Okay, this is like the actual tests here. So that's fine. We can probably adjust these tests so that they're a little bit better. Is 29 to 44? You can't fucking see with these glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Play, playing the bits not not easy. <laughs> Just play the Windows XP setup music. Should be public domain by now. Is it? Wasn't there like the uh was it? oh that was Windows 95, wasn't it? Um but Jennifer Aniston and, and Matthew Perry did like a how to install Windows 95 thingy way back when for like for promotional stuff for friends or something. 
That's what I was thinking of, not the 95 setup. Thank you for that, RKJ. Also, check this shit out. We got we got Twitch highlights in my terminal. <gasps> I think, okay, I think my keyboard is here. I'm gonna go check my delivery. I'll be right back. It is here. I have a box. Uh, oh shit, did I show my address? No. But it's from Kinesis. Um, actually, before I show my address on stream, let me just like scribble it out. Sharpie? Uh, uh, not have a Sharpie. Rip off. Um, but yeah, I got a new keyboard, um, um, it's Kinesis, which they make ergonomic split keyboards, it also has my phone number on it, I really don't want to show this. Anyway, we can get rid of that. Also has my But they noticed that I show my keyboard on stream and they were like, oh, do you want to demo a, a keyboard? And I was like, sure. If you guys want to send me a, a, a keyboard, I'll check it out. Grab key. But, uh, so let's get this up here. We got a little bit of an unboxing here, a little bit of a strange, strange stream for today. Um, but yeah, they suggested that I work, I, I practice with the keyboard off camera and uh, and then use it on stream a few times. Um, but so we're, we're not gonna actually use the keyboard today. Also, I don't know how to type with split keyboard, so uh, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna be bad for a while. Uh, why is it not? Plot twist, it's a musical keyboard. Yeah, that'd be wild. Uh, First order business, rewrite bang keyword command of the bot. Yeah, we're gonna need keyboard four now. We taped this really well. There we go. Okay. Got a box full of pack of peanuts. What was in here? Uh, I'm just I'm just checking that the labels don't have my address on them. Got some box here. I don't know what that is. I believe this is the keyboard though. I don't know, this says mouse pad. We got <laughs> extra thick. Uh, this is a wrist pad, I assume. I know they got all sorts of accessories, which is kind of cool. <laughs> oh, baby. Free Pro. Uh, adjustable tents, okay. And then I think finally at the bottom we have the actual keyboard. They scammed you only boxes. No, this shit's real, real heavy. So I don't believe it is just boxes. And this is the actual keyboard, uh, which is the Kinesis Freestyle Pro. <clears throat> but I know I'm gonna open it up and just kind of show you what's what's going on there. I I will set this up off stream though. Uh, cause... Oh. oh. Then, this is one half of the keyboard. <laughs> but, uh, this'll be cool. I'm, I'm excited to, uh, use this. And I think they are brown switches. They will hopefully not be too loud, but, um, but yeah. There it is. Freestyle Pro. Should be, should be cool. But, we'll do that on another stream. Go back as oh we got follows. Uh sorry about that. Hey what's up? Uh AP Expressure and R Litchfield, thank you both for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um we'll get back to our regular regularly scheduled programming. 
Oh man, I didn't realize there's a pun until after I said it, but it's a good pun. But I finally came, and no porch pirates, so we're good. We're good. Let's do this. <clears throat> that music's working. Cool. Uh. And says, I'm about to simp, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, is, it quiet for me? is it quiet for you guys, too? My sound levels look fine. Bump that up a little. <clears throat> uh, come on, clicky click just for a bit. It's, it's, uh, they're, they're brown, so they're not that clicky. They're a little clicky, but not that clicky. Uh, corporate Ergodox keyboard. Is that, is that what it is? Is that what we're about? I think your keyboard is broken because we only have half of it. Yeah. Uh, Napshot says that kind of looks like a keyboard that someone I watch uses. Oh. <clears throat> Selling is sold to the great keyboard industry. Yeah. Your regularly scheduled programming. Get out. Uh, do you get a commission? I don't think so. Like, maybe the commission is just the, uh, keyboard. Juice says, Anthony, you have more viewers than AWS. Really? Really? I'm, I'm bigger than all of the Amazons right now? That's wild. Uh, where are they? I don't even see them. They must be way down here, then. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, though, but it's cool to be, you know, bigger than AWS. <clears throat> be a real complete hacker, you only need a hoodie, not even a PC. I mean, I could put a hoodie on, too. And, uh, go for the whole, the whole look here. I do have a hoodie right here. I don't like to wear hoodies very often. Though. This, this, I only have this hoodie, uh, when I go outside and read books, and it's cold. Um... Because otherwise I get too warm wearing long sleeves, but, um, yeah. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, we were changing the test so that they better test the code. So someone was saying that I actually read the output wrong, and it's 44. What is 44? So it's not 64. So it's just this function? No. Yeah, it's just this function that's not getting tested. So we can fix that up. 28 to 44? 29 to 44. Okay, yeah, because the function definition is still covered. Hey, what's up, Digital Blake? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> AWS is just talking about some stupid GitOps thing. I closed it real quick. Oh, I see. Still counts, yeah. Cybergenic says, Anthony, on Wednesday, I'm unboxing my new MacBook Pro 13 inch. You should come by and... Remind me of my stupid purchase. <laughs> I mean, you bought an Apple product like a shill, so, uh... <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, send, send me a message on some platform and I'll, I'll come show up and say hi. <clears throat> she says, I love reading outside. Yeah, I feel like I suck at reading inside because I just get distracted and do um, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, that's, that's not... <laughs> That's not good. Like, if I want to read, I'm just gonna, like, put all my tech away and go outside and you know, just, just zen through a book, you know? Uh, hey, what's up, Lear Tears? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Mika says, did you get rated or something? It jumped from 90 to 104 real quick. Not that I know of. It's sitting at 92 right now, or at least on my screen. Uh, Stanislav says, do you sometimes check out other developers that stream on Twitch? Yes, I do. Um, and more and more as, uh, quarantine has kind of gone on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I watch some other developers. Um, I mostly just, like, browse and pick a few that I like. Um, there's a, there's a couple that I watch a little more consistently, though. Uh, hey, what's up, Krasnik? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, the internet heard the news about the new keyboard. <laughs> Uh, did I move all the stuff out of the way? Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, there's a little... That's annoying. Why hasn't anyone told me there's a little space between? Oh, no, no. 
Oh no, I moved the wrong scene. Or the wrong, uh, sword. Or, or did you guys like that it was separated? I don't know. I feel like this is... <clears throat> Uber says, Why does a random nerd on Twitch have better stream quality than a multi gorillion dollar corporation? Uh... <laughs> Are you saying that my stream is quality? <clears throat> RKJ says, I spotted Fernie in a Juicebox Heroes stream. Yeah, I was in Juice's stream the other day. Uh, and okay. All right, so we gotta write a test for this function. Um, I think we can actually just change this test such that, um, like we can get rid of all these skips is the plan, but we'll need to set up a repository. Oh, we already have command outputs. Cool. So use that function. Um. <clears throat> Why is this skip pausing? Got him, right? <laughs> Rip. <clears throat> the AWS audio was crappy. Um, oh, it doesn't sound like shit and it's 1080p. Oh, you're talking about my stream. I see. Uh, check. Executables. Shebang. Oh, so what we can do here is also do, here's the helper for this. <laughs> He's using an Outlook email address. <laughs> That's funny. What, what year is it with Outlook? <clears throat> Um, so, I believe all we need to do here is this, and then that test should pass on six. <laughs> Why are you not passing? Uh, no shebang with executable. Test is this, it's bad. Shebang with executable. That one should be fine. Oh, I see. Um, okay, maybe we won't adjust that test. <clears throat> this this emoji looks very different in Twitch chat versus. Uh, Versus on screen, looks like a, like a, like, I was like, what is this emote? Um, the, the hot chili pepper looks a little bit better. But anyway, that's what terminal chat's for. Check git file mode, takes a bunch of files. So let's make a git repository and do the same commands that Max did there. Um, forget what the uh, yeah, it's intent. Check git file mode. Test. Check it file mode. Passing.
this one has a shebang and it should be executable. So we'll do. Uh, do this. Make that one executable, and then we'll have another file that doesn't have a shebang. We also need to do we need to make sure that it's executable inside the. Uh, in the index as well, and then we'll make another file. And then we'll make sure that both of these, so this is no shebang, or has a shebang and executable, that's fine, and no shebang, no executable. That's also uh, um, fine. <laughs> he needs a simp emote. Uh... I mean, I'm really bad at making emotes, so if you have suggestions on where I can source them from, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. <clears throat> okay, assert, check, check, get file mode. I don't like that this is list. Why is it list? I guess this has to be a list. We have sequence in this file. Yeah, let's change this to sequence. I don't think... Yeah, paths is only used in that first line, so this can be sequence instead of list. Sequence, okay. Oh, <laughs> this is too long. I hate that my module name is so long. Check it, file mode. Oh, 79 characters, that's what we like to see. <laughs> oh, except I typo something. Shoot. Shebangs, no! Oh, I think that puts it to 80. I think we're still within the bounds there. <clears throat> PDH says you're done. I was. I don't know who that is. Oh, I see. You're, you have a YouTube link. Simp emotes are banned now. Really? <laughs> Why though? What does that? What does that even mean? <laughs> we have an insider. <laughs> it's true. Uh, okay, so that's that test is passing. That's good. Uh, we will have to check it on Windows though. Test check get file mode failing. Uh, hey, what's up, Snape? Snape KHS. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope your day is going well. Mine is uh, mine's pretty good. Can't complain. Well, I could complain, but I don't have much to complain about today. Uh, so we want a what? Not executable. So this is supposed to only check in one direction, but this is checking in both directions. We actually... We actually what? We want to change this, because otherwise this is wrong. Yeah, because this isn't checking things that have a shebang that are not executable. This is only checking things that are executable yeah so we'll, we'll have to adjust this logic a little bit that's fine so this is a this is the only error case um actually Right 
right text, so we can just use right because it's ASCII. Command output git and h. <clears throat> and just call it <laughs> imp say or something. I think they're literally just checking for the words or for the string simp. Uh. <laughs> good old, good old pig Latin workaround there. Copy and paste the code here. Just to make sure that it's in the index as that. Um, assert check executables. Should have some failing tests. Uh, G. Oh, I uh, need a file named H. The variable name is H, but the file name is G. Uh, El Chinti says, "What are you working on? I just got here. I'm reviewing and fixing up this patch to pre-commit hooks, which um." The long and the short of this is the code is a little bit broken on Windows because uh, Windows doesn't really have a concept of things that are executable versus not executable. And so uh, and so it would always trigger an error. This, this particular checker would always trigger an error on Windows. And we're making it a little bit smarter to understand Git internals so that it doesn't trigger an error in that case. Uh, just a, a little bit of a... Uh, an improvement for Windows users there. Ibram says, just slap a MIPS diagram as an emote. It's basically the same shit. Juicebox Hero says, what does Shebang do? Uh, that's a good question. And actually, we should video idea that one. What is Shebang? And my, my bot is async now, so we can actually do other commands in the middle of them. Aha. Yay, async. Hey, what's up? Tim, Tim Drod, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So, especially on Windows, all right, uh, executables have to be of a particular extension. Uh, what is the very affixed? Yeah. Um, hey, what's up, Elchenti2? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So on Windows, this is a Linux versus Windows thing. Um, on Windows, there's this pathx thing, and these particular extensions are automatically executables on Windows. Um, so if I just had a Python file somewhere, uh, what is this t.py? Okay, this t.py doesn't do anything, but we will make it do something. Oh, this is the broken t.py. Just do print hello world. So on Windows, if you run a... Well, there goes my demo. <laughs> this file does not have an app associated with it for performing this action. Okay, well anyways, it's supposed to run it, but apparently I've either installed Python incorrectly or broken it in some way. Uh, we can do it with a bat file instead. But you can see, like, I didn't have to do anything special to make this an executable. Windows will just run it. Uh, it's supposed to work for Python files, too. And what? Com executables, batch files, command files. Oh, VBScript, really? JavaScript does that? Do I have a JavaScript interpreter installed? <laughs> 
<laughs> I do have a JavaScript interpreter. It is the Microsoft JScript runtime, uh, which says that console is undefined, which is messy. <clears throat> messy, messy, messy. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll pretend I don't have it. But uh, in POSIX, it's different. So on POSIX, files are decided to be executable based on their uh, mode bits. So, you know, if I have t.py and print hello world and I try and run it, uh, you'll get permission denied. And that's because it is not executable by default. You'll see that it's only read, there's no x's here. We can make it executable by doing chmod plus x. And now if you look at t.py, um, it, is, it is executable, but executing it runs into a syntax error. Syntax error near token hello world print hello world. And that's because the default executable for, well, when you're running in bash, I think this is interpreter specific. <laughs> I don't remember though. Uh, but when you're running in bash, it tries to run it as a shell script. So if I would have put, you know, echo high in here and then run that, it would work because it's interpreting this with sh. Uh, but the way to tell the computer what language your script is that you're running is to use a shebang. And that's a special comment that's, you know, hash and then bang. <laughs> and that points at an executable. So you can do like user bin python3, for example. And then if we did print hello world. Uh, so the, the file extension actually doesn't really mean much on POSIX for this. Uh, but you can see now it runs that. And shebangs are particularly useful for extensionless file names. Uh, so if we move t.py to just t, uh, well, let's move this into a directory, move ty. Uh, so we have t here. Um, it doesn't have an extension, but you can see that it has the executable bits here, x, 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 and that allows us to run it. And a better way to do the shebang here, so this is pointing at a particular path on disk, and basically what happens is it uh, reformats the command so that it essentially runs user bin python 3t, uh, oops. and you know that's, that's what the shell does for you. Uh, but it's not always the best idea to have a full path there, so there's a hack that people use, and it's a very, widely supported hack, uh, and that's to use user bin env as your executable, and then the, you know, the type of executable that you want to run. And this will search Python 3 anywhere on your uh, search path for executables. So if you now run this, it still works the same, but what that ends up doing is running a command that looks like this, user bin and Python 3 t. Um, and, you know, right now, which Python 3 points at user bin Python 3, but if I were to cd into I don't know, Babby, for example, this Python 3 is a different one. It's in a virtual environment. But if I still run that executable, mpyt, it still works. How could I show you that it's different? Uh, we can do import sys print sys.executable. Yeah, so you can see that it's using the Python that is in my virtual environment. But anyway, hopefully that <laughs> explains what Shebang does. <clears throat> Bang, what are you doing there? You don't belong there, says Tubeworm. Uh, Mind the Fox says, did you get your keyboard yet? Yes, I just got it like, like 10 minutes ago. Um, and a bunch of accessories and stuff. I managed to not show my address on stream, yay, but here's the... Here's the Kinesis Freestyle Pro, uh, that side, Pro. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, you know, practice. They, they told me I should practice on it before showing it on stream. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do that off camera. <laughs> hey, what's up, uh, ZDW? Something like that, sorry. <laughs> thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. And Escalavrator, thank you as well for the follow. <clears throat> UDH says, forget that. How does Git work in a command prompt? Uh, it's just an executable. Uh, so there's a, wait, that was not what I expected. Uh, hey, what is the Windows equivalent for this command? Um, yeah, there we go. 
inside this directory here. Uh, we need quotes because it has a space in the middle of it. So inside this directory here, there's a get.exe, and that's how it works on Windows. So they've they have augmented the path so that it looks up these git executables, and that's <laughs> Juicebox says, "Yikes! Isn't this a Python stream?" Uh, sometimes I write Python. <laughs> sometimes I write code. How does Windows know Python is Python? It does it. I mean, yeah, in a way. Your computer is broke. Uh, iPy says, have you ever considered using Tmux? Yes, I do use Tmux for some things, uh, but I don't really like it. Uh, but these are, these are my settings, my three-line Tmux configuration, which you can't even see because it's on the screen that's behind my stuff. Um, but yeah, I turn on full color. I enable the mouse, which I don't know why, because I don't ever, I don't think I use the mouse for Tmux. Maybe I do to click panes. I don't know. And uh, <laughs> this actually has a funny story behind it. Uh, this this is leftover configuration from Yelp. So when I worked at Yelp, I was what's called a push master, which meant that I was one of the blessed people that could deploy the website or deploy the monolith. And I would usually run a push something like three or four times a week, um, which at the time was more than anyone else, because uh, I actually liked pushing. It was kind of fun. Uh, but one part of pushing, there was a drunk check in our deploy scripts where it would ask you to type the date into the script to make sure that you weren't drunk. Obviously, it's not a very good check because <laughs> I definitely deployed drunk. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was a regular occurrence. Um, but I was, you know, couldn't be arsed to look up the date. And part of the directions for deploying was uh, open up the open up a, a shell inside Tmux. And so I just changed Tmux to print the date and I would just copy and paste it into the, uh, the drunk check. And uh, so that's why that's there. But it doesn't really do that much. Um, yes. Anyway, that's my Tmux config. But the reason I don't use Tmux is I find that everything is slightly broken. Um, among among some things, let me show you just one thing that's broken. So Tmux does not have complete or it doesn't advertise complete support for true color. So if you open up a file, uh, and this is going to be really difficult to see on stream. Um, you might have to just take my word for it here. Um, what string is the most different? Now my stream chooses right now. Um, huh. Probably these keywords are the most different in color. Um, and that's because this has fallen back to 256 color mode, whereas this is in true color mode. Uh, so... Yeah, so, so colors are slightly broken. Uh, there's a bunch of keyboard shortcuts that are like, you know, kind of annoying for me, but I, I do know how to use Tmux, you know, how to... Um... Actually, that's not what I want. We want split. Uh, this is like the cool hacker mode thing that I used a lot when I was debugging Python 2 to Python 3 migrations. There's this cool synchronized panes thing, which feels super hackery to me control two windows at the same time and so what i would do is i would i would open up python 2 in one of them and python 3 in the other and then like step through until uh until things were different and then i would know where the bug was that was that was a fun debugging technique i don't know i just don't like using team box is the, <laughs> the uh bottom line there <clears throat> oh except Dan says does the shell interpret the shebang and execute the pi Python on the file. Yes, it does. Uh, Juice says, thanks for explaining. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh... Hey, what's up, Shoddy? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shoddy and I were playing Minecraft yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Angel Egg says, how does the VM auto start when you cd into Workspace Babby? So there's these two files in here, and this is some special code that I wrote a long time ago. 
So there's these activate and deactivate scripts, and I'm using a tool called Activator with two A's, um, which even though uh, the source code doesn't say that I wrote the code, I wrote all this code, uh, but Chris open sourced it, so he, got, he gets credit for it. But um, I wrote this tool called Activator, and the way it works is there's this thing in Bash called prompt command, and this prompt command runs before, or is it after? It runs between <laughs> every shell command, and it can and it runs in the context of a shell, so you can use it to source files. And so Activator, um, it's run in this chunk of code here. The rest of it is my pre-commit setup, and uh, basically evals the output of the Activator executable, and. Uh, it has some smart stuff to, you know, locate those activate and deactivate files and uh, automatically do that. Pretty neat. <clears throat> uh, what have you done? Clip it and ship it. <laughs> True. Uh, click a click on the keyboard or riot. No. Uh, the answer server says, when leaking your address on stream, do you use an address manager afterwards or the good open source ones? Uh. Ubrim says, holy shit, Windows has LS now. Oh, um, this is actually the MinGW LS that I have stuck onto the path. Uh, MinGW64 slash bin. Yeah, so I have all of these on the path. So where is LS? Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is it not in there? Oh, it's in user bin. User bin. Here we go. This is where it probably comes from. Um, L ls ls.exe. So yeah, that's that's why ls works. <laughs> um, clipboard doesn't work right for tmux. I mean, probably. I passed the sobriety test, yep. She says, oh, drunk deploying, is it too late to rescind my offer of refer you to Twitch? <laughs> I was I was young and impressionable. <laughs> I, I don't think I've drunk deployed in a long, long time. But that was why I added that feature to Team Max. Um, hey, what's up, C-Complex? Hello, hello. The real question is, why did you get drunk? I don't know, man. This is almost ten years ago now, so I don't, don't, don't really remember the reason. Master Tech says, "Yeah, there's a slight difference in color. Cool. Flipboard doesn't work at all in Tmux. You probably make it work." Oxfadun says, "You need to dedicate a Tmux pane to C Matrix. Uh, are you bad at code? <laughs> wow." <laughs> <clears throat> Andrew the next says, how did you do the tmux split double type magic? Um, so split is leader key percent, uh, oops, leader key, control B, and then percent. That's a vertical split. Uh, I don't remember what horizontal split is, but there's a horizontal split also. Uh, it's what, control B, dollar sign? Nope, nope. Uh, carrot? I don't fucking remember. But anyway, that's that's vertical split, and then leader key colon will bring up like a bin command like thing, and it's set w synchronize panes, and that'll turn it on, and you can do the same to turn it off. It's a it's a toggle. But anyway, that's that. Uh, clipboard doesn't work at all in Tmux. I mean, wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Uh, Stanislav says, do you have public dot files? Kind of. I have this w repo where I just dump shit into it and it usually ends up containing my dot files. So you can, you can find those in here. Easy slash scratch. Um, yeah, it has my dot files, but it also has other stuff, so like some fun scripts and stuff. Um... LyQB2 says, grep address slash. <laughs> for my address manager, yeah. GDH says, you don't like the new Ubuntu subsystem and the new terminal. Uh, it breaks VirtualBox, so I can't use it. 
Partial core also has ls. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Tuberm says, what happens if I have ls.exe and ls.js on my path? So the fun answer to that is, um, if they're on the same path entry, it will use the precedence of pathext, which I believe puts exe first. Yeah, so it will preferen preferentially pick exe over js. Um, but if you had ls.js earlier in your path, in fact, if you, you know, touch ls.js and then try and run ls ls.js. Oh wait, why did it work? Oh, because this, um, yeah, <laughs> this, this breaks ls. This breaks the ls um, because Windows puts the working directory on the path, which is another pretty sketchy thing that some argue is a security problem. But I, I tend to slightly agree with them. But anyway, yes, it, it breaks breaks ls. Suckle Monster says ls.exe. Yeah, we were talking about Windows earlier. Jackie Alcyon says PowerShell implodes. <laughs> Pretty much. Master Tech says Alt A and Terminator sends keys to two different windows. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Control B, double quote. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Harold of the Rocks? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Parsa says, do you use bare git repo for the dot files or do you do symlinking? Um, I use, I do symlinking and that gets set up through my puppet setup. Modules, desktop, manifests, dot files. Yeah, so this uh, puppet script will clone that scratch repository and then it symlinks a bunch of files into there. Uh, it also needs to make some directories so that it can install my babby thing. Uh, echo, echo hi to rm.js. Now delete rm.js without Dell. I mean, I could find the full path to rm.exe and run that, and that would work. Uh, com master race. Yeah. Turtle the Rock says there's some priv sec that abuses that. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, there's like it's usually considered a vulnerability in Windows programs that accidentally do that, so, or in Windows POSIX programs that accidentally do that. So it doesn't surprise me that people use that to uh, break stuff. So it says, "Ha, huh? noob." What? What? Okay, what were we doing? I think the tests were failing. I remember right. Yes, and that is failing to do H, which is not actually executable. So this messaging is just wrong. Uh, oh, why is that in that tab? Oh, spoilers. This is from uh, a video that I'm going to put up tomorrow. It's about Docker and add and URLs. I also answered it on Twitter, so that's there as well. <clears throat> Juice asking Parsit if they're sub. They don't have a sub badge. Obviously not. <laughs> Yikes. The shade there. Is Babby complete? Asks OXFA dead. I, I don't think it'll ever be complete. Uh, but... The answer is no, and it's missing some features that I still want, so it's not even complete from a, me being completely happy with it. But it is usable, so I do use it. <clears throat> no sub badge and unable to gift a sub to you through the user menu. It says, I know why, and it's not a bug. What? <laughs> why can't you receive a gift sub, Parsit? That's weird. You can disable getting gifts in the settings thing. What? What? I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, OMG staff, run and hide. I didn't take the cookies. <laughs> Master Tech says, is any software complete? No. The one rule about software is it always has bugs. SoundSlav says, what is the remove feature in Nano that you were salty about? I can actually show you. Uh, well, actually, can I show you it working? Yeah, I can show you it working. We can start it. We start up another VM in the background that has the old version of Nano. 
and I'll show you it removed in the newest version. But actually, hmm, I don't know that it's in my dot files anymore. Um, oh, it definitely is. <laughs> Michael Fox, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this is why people disable gift subs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's funny. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mindful Fox, for gifting a sub. Oh, you gifted 22? Getting up there. Um... And that password is bad password, so I don't care. Oh wait, is it not? I don't know what the password is for this, so I'm gonna go guess some passwords. Let me uh, switch to my other scene while I guess some passwords. Oh, actually, I have a password. I don't even care if you guys know this password, though. You know, a little bit paranoid. Yeah, why isn't that one the other password? Anyway, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Uh, but this version of Nano, uh, we need to, I need to undo stuff because I actually deleted all my Nano RC. <sighs> Delete Nano RCs, all hail Babby. <laughs> we'll check out before that revision, um, which will put my Nano RCs back. And then... Dash S. Okay. Looks good. Alright, so we're gonna include a git ignore nano RC. And this git ignore nano RC does a cheeky thing um, and it implements a code formatter. And it actually shells out to Vim <laughs> to sort the file. Um, and the reason that I do this is Nano doesn't have any sort of sorting, so um, this is actually one feature that Babby has that Nano does not. Kind of cool. But what this does is if I have a git ignore, uh, we need bin nano git ignore. Uh, if I had, you know, a bunch of files in here, I could type control T and that would run the linter and or formatter. You could configure either of them. Um, and it would it would auto format the file for me, so you could see that it sorted it just by doing Control T. But they removed Control T in the latest version of Nano, so you can no longer run formatters, um, which is unforch. <clears throat> but anyway, that's that's the feature that's gone. Um, they removed it in Nano three, and uh, that was part of the reason that I started to write Babby. I don't know if that answers that question. Why? Why do I need to off the turn off my computer? Fuck that. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna shoot it in the head. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh... <laughs> Notice says Pokimane. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Uh... It says, oh look, Fernie is about. Um, was the password actually a good password? Definitely. That's that's exactly what it was. Um, what are you talking about? There's it. How do you know when they go live? Oh, when I go live? You don't follow or sub? What? Wow. Interesting. I didn't know you weren't you weren't following or subbed? Really? Sure as shit, man. You show up in a lot of streams for not being followed. I'm impressed. Not my code formatter. Don't you know ladies love a bit of automated interrogation of their strings? What? What's that supposed to mean, knowledge? What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened?
step in there. Juice has given a gift sub to T Pain. Wait, but it says, oh, an anonymous. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, it's gift gifted a sub. Oh, I see. Somebody gifted Juice a sub, and it got redirected from anonymous. Who who might be anonymous? Uh, oh, why doesn't Michael Fox say say something in chat? Why is your badge not working? You have gift leader. It should be showing here. Uh, might have to fix that. <clears throat> Actually, let me put it in verbose mode. All right, say something again, Mindful Fox. Juice was anonymous all along. We found the hacker. The the uh. <laughs> we found the uh, notorious hacker anonymous. Uh, badge info founder, sub gift leader. Oh. Add support for that one. Dun, 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 dun. Sub gifter we have. Alexa, <coughs> play T Pain. <laughs> I don't have Alexa. That's not happening. That is not happening. Uh, now we gotta pick that gold color. Oh, we already have it for Bits Leader. Steal this color here. Do. All right. Uh, can you can you post again, Mindful Fox? Mindful Fox, go brr. Uh, somebody send bits and write Alexa play Des Despacito. I do not have an Alexa device. Xbox turn off. Xbox turn off. Yes. Hey, there you go. And now you have a little little gift gift subby thing. Cool. And we'll slowly add all the badges. Sub gift leader badge. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Null Const Pointer? Welcome, welcome. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Uh, what is what is this link knowledge? Do I trust opening your link on stream today? Brush your teeth. What is, what is this supposed to be? Is this a meme I don't understand? I'm confused. Okay, alright. How many badges are there? There's a maximum of four. <laughs> and then Juice makes herself a mod. Oh, look at that! Oh wait, we can see it in the chat too. Oh, I don't have I don't have the mod badge hooked up. Cause we we usually don't have mods. Okay, you're gonna have to say more things before you demod yourself. Abuse. Say something right now. <laughs> Staff abuse. Uh, say something. Please, thank you. Is this corruption? Uh, Alchinti says, do you practice a particular typing technique like touch typing, or are you more just naturally fast? Uh, I am not a, um, abuse me staff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up, shoddy? Um, no, I, I cheat at typing. I'm close to touch typing, um, but you'll notice my right hand, I do a lot with, um, these fingers, and not so much with these other ones. And, um, that, that that makes me that makes me fast. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put this in the list? No, that's not the badge that I want to copy. I want to copy moderator. Uh, moderator. I should really sort these. M. We'll come up with something for it. Uh, 
Uh, now we gotta find a uh, emoji for it. Sword emoji. They're all gonna be colorful though. That's the problem. Maybe this one won't be. Uh, I can't tell. Is that one colored or not? I think it's not colored. I think we could use that one. Um, but now we need to pick. Uh, what is your WTPM? Right around 120 words. Image address. I learned how to do this in Chrome, so we can expect take this and click on here, get an eyedropper, eyedropper, and grab the moderator green. Hey. You get the three colors. One seventy three three zero zero one seventy three zero zero three. Uh. Oh, I put this in the wrong spot. We'll fix this. The fuck. What's wrong here? Oh, we need two bracket. Two semicolon. <clears throat> All right. No, you gotta say one more thing, Juice. Let's make sure this works. One, one more. <laughs> Imagine having colored emotes in our terminal. Yeah, actually, apparently it's possible. Um, I did want to look into that at some point. Uh, why couldn't you use it if it's colored? And holy shit, that's some fast WPM. Because it shows up as two wide instead of one wide. Abuse weave one more time, snap. <laughs> yes. All right, cool. It works now. Uh, and moderator badge. <clears throat> so many badges, yes. It's, uh, some some thick badging in there. I showed you the color picker in Chrome. I demand moderator role. You're not even following the channel, parse it. How could I? How could I mod you if you're not even a follower? Uh, just kidding. I don't have a way to unmod myself. I don't. I don't actually know how that works. I don't know if you can unmod yourself. Okay. What were we doing? <laughs> Tests are still failing. Okay. I think we were fixing this. Um, and I think that's the fix. Int bool scene. The scene is seen. It's a. Uh... That's right. Oh, here we are. <clears throat> That's the other scene, though. Cool. That's passing now. Uh, who knows if it's passing on Windows. Hey, what's up, Nackleric? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Looks like they dead says, I should get mod for being OCF. <laughs> what, is, what is your IRC handle? Uh, we only have one mod, and he doesn't show up very often. He should have last stream, though. Um... Good try, but I'm not following you. <laughs> All these simps demanding mod, shaking my head, says RKJ. With the gift sub, <laughs> with the five gift sub badge. Uh... No, Juice magically makes me a follower and I go brrrr. Wait, did she actually do that? I can't even use my own commands. Nope, still not a follower. Uh, hey, what's up, A Marquez? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> and you sure know a lot of emo songs. Uh, yeah, that's that's my life. Um, 
I made this script a while ago to scrape all of my iTunes library and compile some stats about it. Um, so here's my here's my top ten vans. <laughs> this was in twenty. Oh, I updated in. Oh, I updated relatively recently. So this is, you know, five months out of date. But I know iTunes, right? <laughs> What kind of shill uses iTunes on Windows? It works. It gets the job done. It's really bad, though. They do all of their work in the UI thread, and so anytime it, like, loads a song, it just, like, freezes. It's chef kiss awesome. Uh, hey, what's up, Remitz2020? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. But, yeah. Yes, and the, the amount of time watching is measured in days. Uh, which is which is pretty pretty wild, but uh, my handle is Pokimane. <laughs> I don't think I will mod Pokimane in my channel. That seems like not a good idea. <clears throat> Null cons pointer says, and she bangs, she bangs, oh baby, and she moves, she moves. Hey, what's up, Flow One Thirty Five? What is that emote? Oh, it's brr. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. She says, I have to eat something before my body begins digesting itself. It's a morbid thought, but thanks for stopping by. Go get some food. <laughs> uh, Juice just made Pokemon a mod, so that's that's a thing now. Uh, Nelcon's pointer says, what are your thoughts on pie test versus unit test? Well, I'll have to tell you first that I am severely biased on that. Um, because, what's the, what's the cheekiest way to show this? Um, this is the cheekiest way to show this. The tide lift is the funding approach that we're using for PyTest right now. There's currently two of us receiving funding. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a core dev of PyTest, so I'm a, I'm a little bit biased in that, um, in that domain. Yeah, I do, I do a lot of work for PyTest. Um, hey, what's up, Igran? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, PyTest is pretty great. Uh, there are some things that I don't like about it. Like I think the fixture stuff could be a little bit more explicit because it's a little bit magically done right now. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know how I would do it differently though. So <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> but. She'll do a good job, trust me. <laughs> oh boy. Because it's not... Oh, these jokes, man. I don't know why the jokes are so mean to QA. Like, QA are people too. But... I don't know. I didn't write the jokes. They're from a third-party library. Someone in chat added the command. It wasn't me. She says, Please never stop abusing me, comma, staff. Uh, reported. <laughs> it's only fair that you make Anthony a mod in Pokemon's channel. Ooh. Mindful Fox with the big brain plays. I'm out of water. I need to get more water. Um, I'm going to be right back to go fill up my water. I will be right back.
Hello. Man, I really like that my stream deck works now. It's it's uh it's very nice. A little bit overdue that it works, but oh man. It's so good. I just press the buttons and it happens. Great. Uh Q air not people. <laughs> Oh, my dad says, before you go, I need to say one thing. He looks sucks. <laughs> yeah, the Twitch API is is a mess. Um, but Juice has been running into that, too, because uh, it, it broke her website. So <laughs> she, she feels our pain of, of uh, Twitch API being garb. Uh, Nullcon's pointer asked earlier something about to-do list. Uh, do I use a to-do list? Kind of. Uh, usually I put little markdown files in repositories. Uh, I also have some public wikis that include a to-do list. So like, this is a to-do list of videos that I want to do eventually um, at some point. Uh, but the list only gets longer, never gets shorter. I also have this list, which was kind of supposed to be to-do stuff that I plan to do for open source, but I don't think I'm going to do any of these things anymore. I think I've decided that they've sat in this to-do list for so long that they're probably never going to happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm bad at to-do list is the <laughs> is the answer to that question. Um, what is your workflow and organization like? Uh, most of my workflow is inbox zero, so it's really just like whatever's in my inbox. Those are the things that I plan to work on. Um, Uh, and and that that makes those happen eventually done but yeah um wow the the joke bot was very on point with the glasses half full uh blend right as i was filling up my water that's pretty good super optimist the glass is full of air and water uh Andrew next says 70,000 more channel points to go. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to set up the uh, channel point reward so that you guys can finally get the, um, you know, that 24 hour stream that you've been pining for for so long. Uh, I don't know how to go. The, that under unity? Channel points. Manage rewards. Uh, uh. Why? How do I? Custom rewards. Create a custom reward. Um. <laughs> dreaded 24 hour stream. Fine, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Enter amount 100,000. Oh. Create. All right. So now, if this ever happens, we'll see. Oh, you guys can't even see it. I don't think. So the show up in chat for you. But anyway, there's now a one hundred thousand uh, <laughs> channel points. Channel points can be scripted. Well, I mean, you guys make it happen. It's not going to be programming for 24 hours, because I would lose my damn mind doing that. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. Knowledge says, when Juice comes back, ask her what she thinks about QA people. Hmm. Uh, I wish I could do that iTunes library stats to my Spotify account. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't use Spotify, though. Um... Fast go spam that mailbox. Yo, my mailbox went from two unread to nine unread in the time that we've streaming, so I'm clearly clearly working in the right direction there. <laughs> hey Specs, hello, hello. Just getting the most out of my emotes before they're gone. Oh no, is your sub gonna expire? Hey, what's up, no booty? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh oh yeah, how do you script channel points? Pretty sure you still have to be watching to watch them. Or to create them. Knowledge says, do you know how many points I have? No, I don't. I don't recommend a 24-hour stream. I don't recommend it either, but <laughs> now that I'm unemployed, you know, we can we can make it happen, I guess. Oh shit. 
No booty with the sub gift to, to Nalage. Now Nalage is a sub can, can throw up those pythons. <clears throat> Superworm says, I feel like all rewards like that end up with 20 people reaching 100k at once and it's a month long stream. I don't... I should probably put a stipulation that I will only do one of these. Uh, or maybe like one per month or something. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a lot and then I'm never going to want to do it again. Helcon's Pointer says, what do you think about when deciding a level of abstraction for a Python module slash clash slash functions? I don't, <laughs> I don't really think about it. You know, uh, code goes brr, <laughs> just kind of happens. Um, I like Python. I like Linux. That makes I like this channel a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie, for the sub. <laughs> Oh, TTS coming through. That was that was good. Uh, thank you for the sub. Jay Mickey says, do you open source software full time? Uh, well, I, I used to work at Lyft. I was part of the 17% employee layoff a couple weeks ago. Um, so right now I'm doing my own thing. So in a way, yes. Is open source software a sustainable way for me to live and make enough money to pay the rent? Absolutely not. Um, so I am currently bleeding through savings, which I'm I'm fine. I'm not not concerned yet. Um, and if I wanted to get a job, I could just put the effort in and get a job. But my plan is to work on my own project for a while and uh, see where that takes me. And yeah, hopefully that answers that. Uh... Stanislav says, these streams seem super distracting for you, but I'm super thankful that you still do them. They're fun. That's why I do it. <laughs> if I didn't like to do it, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> it's, that's like what I say about New Year's resolutions. Like, um, you know, I, I find New Year's resolutions a little bit silly. Like, and what, what I always say is like, if I wanted to be doing something, I'd already be fucking doing it. Like, the beginning of a year isn't going to change. Like, an arbitrary passage of time is not going to change my attitude towards some amount of behavior. But if I didn't like streaming, I wouldn't stream. Like, <laughs> that's just the way things go. Happy goes brrrr. Uh, the line breaks go BR is pretty good. I really like that one. Nekalaric says, in before the guy who redeems the 100,000 points sleeps for the entire duration of the 24 hour stream. Yeah. Becky Ellison says, wait, 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 you worked at Lyft? Yeah, I was there for two and a half years. <clears throat> oh, you're on the notifications team. Oh, shit. Nice. With Jimmy and the rest of the team. The rest of them. Awesome. Well, <laughs> I, I was, uh, I mean, I was Ace Tilly on Slack, if, if you ever saw me. <laughs> but, which, I don't know, if you've ever been in the dev environment channel, you surely have seen me at some point in time. Um, but... Cool, small world. Hey, <clears throat> Mickey says, was your lift severance reasonable at least? It was, it worked. I mean, it's it's 10 weeks of pay and health coverage until November, which not bad. And I got to keep my stock grant for, for May, so. It could have been better. Honestly, getting any severance is better than quitting, so, uh... <laughs> um, happy about that. Hey, what's up, Constant K? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Man, Deadbox I don't miss. Yeah, fuck Deadbox. <laughs> God, I worked so hard to make it way less shitty than it was, and, uh, I'm so glad that we eventually decided that it's, uh, it's gone. But yeah. Uh... Fetch me a coffee says, why don't you like streaming? I do like streaming, otherwise I wouldn't do it, you know? <laughs> I'm still sorry to hear it though, yeah. It's, it's, it is, it's, it's a thing. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make the best of it, so that's why we're here today. Okay, um, by adjusting this test, or by doing this here, this test down here is now wrong. Um... Bang with executable should be an error. This should not be an error. Uh, uh, 
So what we really want to do here is simulate how identify chooses that something is executable. We'll turn off the skip here. Have four paths in path. Is that gonna work? I hope so. Uh, file names equals expected. No shebang with executable was passing with zero. Uh oh, we need to run. Please test our cards. <laughs> uh... Oh, we can just use mode. Path is not subscriptable. No, it needs to be stripped. What do you mean? Uh oh. For paths in, this should be for paths in. There we go. Cool. Uh, image draw says there's no way that will work. Yeah, I, I fucked up the variable name. If that works. I'm quitting programming. Oh no, are you quitting programming when we draw it? <laughs> oh no, a little confusing. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, Parsa says I also feel guilty that we distract him from doing actual work, but this is part of being a Twitch streamer. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I think most of what I'm doing, like. Honestly, I feel like if I streamed in the just chatting category, it would be just as applicable as streaming in science and technology because I probably spend, you know, 80 to 90% of the stream just like talking to you guys, telling you what I'm doing, explaining what's going on, answering questions and that sort of deal. Um, but yeah. Hey, what's up, typical step? Hello, hello. And Huckatoss. Hello, hello. Welcome. Nobody says I enjoy watching Anthony write code with a with a sip emote. I get to learn. Nice. Uh, Typical step says, "What are you programming?" I'm working on. Oh, we closed the tab. We're working on fixing this, and someone else, Max, submitted a pull request to fix this, and I'm just adjusting it slightly um, to make it not have skips anymore. Executables. Gone. Let's skip NT. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, those are probably fun. But instead of skip NT, we're going to do skip 132. Unless it makes this line too long. <gasps> Damn it. Okay, that's why it's empty. I'll do this. Uh... 
and I'm gonna run these tests on Windows and see if they still work. Um, typical step says, is streaming your job? No, it doesn't make nearly enough money to be my job. Um, but it is what I'm doing now, I guess. Um, while I don't have work. Um, where's this emote? What is, what is? <laughs> the, uh, the Anthony Prey. Well, this is one from today. This is a, this is a good new one. Um, the problem is like how do you make how do you make a photo into an emote is like I, I don't know how to how do if somebody rotoscopes it makes it look reasonable I'll I'll make an emote <clears throat> just um yeah we can we can have we can have anything hmm Okay, but the, the way that I'm going to test this on Windows, I'm going to push this branch to origin, and then I'm going to open up Windows. Oh, you didn't see that one coming. Where did Windows come from? <laughs> um, yeah, Mickey says, science and tech streamers don't get enough viewers, unfortunately. Yeah, we have a decent number today. Here's my... What? Uh, panel? Load. Got 73 people watching today. That's... That's quite a few. Hey, what's up, Forgnath? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Not enough to make streaming a full-time job. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. Um, slash pre-commit slash pre-commit clicks. Um, <laughs> whoa, Windows. Yeah, <laughs> you are not ready for that one. Are you running Linux or a VM? Yes, I am running from a VM. Lit Toucan has arrived. Yo. That's good. I like it. Little Step says, I work in ethical hacking and pen testing for Adobe, so I enjoy these streams. Nice. Glad, glad you stopped by. Lit Toucan has arrived. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'll be able to check out git file mode here. Hey, Typical Step. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Arset, do you know typical step? Are you, are you guys are you guys buddies or oh no oh no Adobe? Oh I see. Uh, do I have talks here? Sure. Okay, so let's just oh I don't know Python three eight. This is not gonna work. Seven. Yeah, because I don't I don't do that much development on Windows. It's mostly to just like make sure things work. C9C says, are you working fewer slash early slash weird hours right now? <laughs> you wanna know how many hours I'm working? Zero. <laughs> Cause I got laid off. <laughs> I knocked my microphone like an idiot. <laughs> oh no, the tests are failing. Oh. Hi. Local path is not iterable. Oh, I guess I need stir path. Damn it. It's annoying. That's eh, annoying. Yeah, from lift. Uh, you and Hazel GD are friends. Oh, I see. Ooh. Uh. Hey, Darby says, I think it depends on your cost of living and you'd have to expand outside of just Twitch. Yes. Uh, well, I live in the Bay Area, so my cost of living is through the fucking roof. Jesus, Twitch chat is the new management who asks you how you are and what are your hours. Uh, C9C just quit Amazon. Wow. Are you also floating, floating around at weird hours of zero? <clears throat> or do you have a job lined up? No cons pointer says we need to sign on a tech lead. What do you what do you got for me, Angelinex? Kinda rotoscoped it. I feel like this is not not your best work. I should maybe just like sit in front of a, a green screen. It honestly it's gonna be way easier, like 
It would be way easier to rotoscope with, with a hat on. Because then you don't have to deal with my hair. So. <laughs> but it, but it's but it's a little bit, you know, faked there. Because <clears throat> that would be like the, the Hacker Man hmm, thonk. After eight years, I was going to leave my team for reasons, but Amazon had just changed too much and I didn't feel like starting over with a new team. That's fair. I get that. Uh, that was like kind of how I felt when I left Yelp. No way. <clears throat> okay, but let's fix this. Yes. Eight windows. It's such. I missed it too. <laughs> the tab complete is just so bad. There we go. But look, Babby works on Windows. Yay. Um, okay, but this needs to be stir path. Why are we using right binary here? We don't need right binary at all. This is failing for a different reason. We can just ignore that test. Hey, what's up, El Aventurio? Hello, hello. Man is terrible on Windows? Yeah, I know. Next thing you know, the tech lead speaks like, as a tech lead. <laughs> oh my god. Were you here, Stanislav, for the, um... God, what was that issue? What project was that on? If I can find it. As a software engineer. Hmm. Was it in this project? I think it might have been. What project was that? <laughs> anyway, somebody opened an issue that was like, as a something something, blah, 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 blah. And that's what that reminds me. Like someone else in this chat probably remembers it. But it was like super hoity toity and like very like drinking the, ad the agile Kool Aid raised. Hey, what's up? Uh, Miradity? Something like that? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Move rat. Oh. I see. Well, welcome, Move rat. Uh... PNC says, I don't have anything lined up. I'm on PTO right now and going to work for one more week or so and then be done. Going to live on savings and Amazon money for a while. Trying to get a job right now feels weird. Yeah, right now jobs are a mess. Jay Mickey says, I interviewed at Yelp in London. They didn't seem the right place for me and end the process after the second interview. Hmm. Well, I never worked at Yelp London. I was I was Yelp SF. But, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about Yelp another day. I don't really want to talk about Yelp today. Uh, one annoying thing about working for Adobe is fixing all the ways people find out how to get it for free. <laughs> uh, don't even mention this scammer. He deserves to be ignored from every platform. Which which person are we talking about? Uh, he's a nice meme though. I don't know what we were talking about. Elkhan's pointer, yeah, it was something like that. But it was like... I don't even remember it was.
I don't know what it was. I'll find it. We'll, we'll find it some other day. Uh, maybe Max will remember where it is. I can probably ping Max. Maybe it's an issues, not pull requests. Yeah, but Google would have found either of them. Uh, Sega Darby says, but if you're not living in the Bay Area and take remote, cost of living is much lower. Yeah, I'm currently living in the Bay Area though. Uh, nothing horrible stood out. They just seemed a bit too big in a place you could easily get lost in the crowd, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it definitely makes sense. Yep. Milcon's pointer says, as a I want so that. Oh yeah, that might be one way to look for it. Uh... <laughs> Great. Oh fuck, and it shows my IP address, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Cool. Uh, no, we're not, I'm not gonna be able to find it. You guys can try, probably search for it and you'll be able to find it. And then if somebody finds it, post it in chat. Okay. Um, what happened here? Oh, I scrolled and that causes it to, that causes it to block the process. This is awesome. Oh, we gotta fix the other test too. Babby still works well on Windows. Could be worse. Okay, so that got fixed. F path equals stir F. G path equals stir G. Tab complete not working. I don't know why tab complete didn't work. Okay, that fixes that. Let's do the full run. Let's make sure that works. <clears throat> Hey, Jay Mickey, thank you for the subscription with Prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh. <laughs> DDoS time, yeah. You guys can denial of service me. More power to you, yeah, I guess. I've got a pretty, pretty fat pipe. <laughs> you'd need, you'd need to shove a lot of bandwidth my way and it'd be probably prohibitively expensive for you. Uh, so, good luck. I don't know why you would want to denial of service a, you know, sub-100 streamer, but... <clears throat> the Darby says, what's wrong with being lost in the crowd? Just go to work to do the challenging work, peace out, and then work on things you actually care about. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like I want to work on something where... I want to get paid to work on something that I believe in and, like, feel... Uh, no. Invest it in, sort of. I don't want to be a cog in the machine. I, 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 although I can't understand people that are just like, 
Look at YOLO, let's coast and get get money and uh you no know, job doesn't have to be that big of a part of my life, but Yeah. Yeah, I get it. J Mickey says, I miss Python. I spend most of my time in TypeScript at the moment. I've heard good things about TypeScript. I haven't written very much of it, but Teach modern Windows, yeah, Hakatas. It's it's a it's, it's uh yeah. It's in Git Bash, so it at least has well-defined semantics, I guess. And so he says, among other things, the response to COVID-19 criticism that Timbre quit was over over was a factor in my quitting entirely. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, do you have a new rotoscope, Andrew Lennox? Uh, this one improves. That's actually pretty good. But you gotta cut the chair out of it. <laughs> this is this is actually pretty good. If you post this in the Discord, I can maybe I can maybe make it into an emote. Maybe make it into an emote. Hey, what's up, mine three seven three eight eight? Hello, hello. Look, you've been here before. Welcome, welcome back. Question mark. Yeah. Sound familiar. And she says, I got talked to by HR for sharing links about it over Outlook, and they gave a total BS reason and couldn't answer my questions about whether it was sharing links or just criticizing leadership. Oof. Yeah. Okay, Nalcon's pointer knows the sizes, so yeah, fo follow those dimensions. Uh, I think the easiest way to have that contribution value is just find a way to do open source work at work. Yes. Even if you're not supposed to. Uh, working on the advertising team in Google Russia and they were fighting all the time with the ad block team in Google US. Oh no. <laughs> Mine says, any tips for learning and writing async Python? I think async and Python was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I am fucking garbage at async Python, so I am not the person to ask. Um, because currently my approach to async Python is just throw async and await on lines until it stops complaining. You know, await goes brr. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know async. I'm, I'm garbage at async right now, so I don't really have an answer to that. Um, <clears throat> Jimmy says, like Andy said, I would like to work on something I kind of care about. I'm a principal engineer. And I also like to feel like I'm making an impact to the places I work at. Yeah. It's kind of hard to be a cog in the machine principal. <laughs> For sure. Um, uh, that's not going to look like anything in 28 by 28. Too little contrast. NC says, I won't work for Google or Facebook. I can't stand advertising, and I think I basically should be illegal, and I don't think companies that make their money, don't like companies that make their money selling so, yeah. ads. Yeah, I have other reasons for not working for Google and Facebook, but it's similar, similarly along those lines. Uh, trying to improve upon an AWS Lambda that makes use of a lot of network API calls. Hmm. I mean, depending on how it's set up, it might be easy to just adopt to async.io. I don't know that. <laughs> My chatbot is written in async.io. It is the one like complete application that I've written with it. And um, it had a bug that made it blocking in the main thread for, you know, a year and a half <laughs> before I realized that it was blocking in the main thread. Um, so even though it was sound, the code was sound, the the entire point of using async I was just completely lost because I didn't know what I was doing. So it's it's pretty easy to screw it up, I guess. Okay, line thirty four is not covered. Let's see what's up with that. Maybe pre commit hooks check Punimals line O. It's control shift underscore. Path in scene continue.
what even? I guess I gotta look up what Git ls files does. Uh, stage. Show staged contents mode bits. Oh. Why would it ever show a file more than once? Which is what that test, what that line is implying. Did this even work here? I suspect that line is never hit. Ah, yes, that line is never hit. It's perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, All right, am I going to be able to copy this out of the terminal? A lot of diff. Hopefully this works. I should be able to right click that and then do git apply and then paste. Let's make sure that it still works on POSIX and then we'll check again that it works on Windows one last time. That was green. Hopefully this will be green. Well, Aventurio says, what is your specialty? My specialty? Um, my thing that I'm fav- my, I, This sentence got away from me. Uh, the thing that I like working on the most is developer tooling. So like building tools and software that make people productive. Um, I think I'm good at it. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Pub Pubajibi says, "What do you want to be doing after you turn sixty or fifty?" Uh, implying I'm not already fifty years old. <laughs> no, I'm not fifty years old. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do tomorrow. Like, <laughs> why am I supposed to look that far ahead? <laughs> be dead, says Hakatas. <laughs> uh, Parsit says, "Get rich and act like a twenty-year-old." Hmm. Elkhan Splinter says, what do you like about making developer tools? Um, I don't know. It, I, I like being able to like build stuff that other people enjoy using and like make their experiences better. Uh, oh yeah, I have two spinners. Um, this one is weighted wrong so there there used to be an led in all three of these but one of them lost an led so it's it's actually super satisfying because it like vibes in a particular way but this one is just like a normal fitted spinner but i also have a fidget cube one of the ones from the kickstarter so the, the og one and this one i have to show on my desk because you know i showed in the air uh i have a i don't remember what this thing is called Oh no, I messed everything up. But you spin it and it spins for a very, very, very long time. But it's um, a ball looking thing with a gyroscope at the bottom where you can flip it over and spin this, which is another thing that I like to do. But anyway, I fidget a lot. And so I, I basically need little things on my desk. Otherwise I go insane. Um, so that's why I have all these, all these little things. <laughs> hey, CK Darby, thank you for the follow. I was, I was, I see you in chat, but welcome, welcome to the stream. But yeah, I have lots of little fidgety things. Cool, this works now. Um, how much did I rewrite? All uh, right. A little minor annoying thing that I need to fix with. Uh, on my repos are set up. We fixed the no cover lines. We got rid of that no cover line, wrote test for it. We fixed the functionality. Uh, we removed the no cover there because it wasn't doing anything. We removed that. We changed it to Win32. 
Those are the new tests I added. And then I fixed that code. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, can fix up this into that. Cool. So. Um. <clears throat> I improved this on stream. I uh, added a few tests and made sure things worked well on Windows. I can do this with an approval as well. Fewer, fewer emails. If you approve, give them a nice kitty cat or a doggo. Hey, did we get a cat this time? Oh, we got the Pikachu's one. Oh, I like the Pikachu's one. Um, I have a user script that when you press approve, it uh, it picks a random GIF from, well, pseudo-random, from this, uh, this repository, which is a bunch of ship it GIFs. Um, well, if I put them on screen. It was a, a bunch of ship it GIFs. They're pretty good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hey, what's up, dried cow fetus? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, I wrote the user script that did that. And we also have don't ship it gifts at the bottom. And before I fixed the... Uh... Hey, what's up, turtle fence? Thank you for the follow. Before I fixed the script, I accidentally posted uh, this one on someone's code review. <laughs> and I was like, oh, gotta fix that up. Can't can't be doing what the on people's PRs. Um, and this one got demoted to maybe ship it because it creeped people out. But anyway, that's that's that. <laughs> but it was it was funny the first time. Uh... Hey, what's up, Rhino GS7? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. All right, let me see what we're going to work on next. Uh, uh, LinkedIn message that uh. is this supposed to match triple equal what does triple equals mean uh python versioning pet didn't know there was a triple equals. Arbitrary equality clause. What the fuck does that mean? Arbitrary equality comparisons are simple string equality operations which do not take into account any of the semantic information such as zero padded or local versions. Oh. I had no idea this was a thing. Well, TIL, I guess. Huh. TIL, I guess. <laughs> Looked at that otherwise, so we can approve this. Uh, in theory, this one should have passed now. So something weird has been happening with Azure Pipelines, which has not been triggering properly. So let me just make sure. Okay, that one did actually run. Cool. Merge that. Now we can merge this one. Sweet. We got two things done today. This one. Fix C407. Uh, yeah, that's fair. So you don't need an extra list comprehension in the middle of this. You can sort the generator directly. So, thank you, Max, for that one as well. <clears throat> um, 
CNC says, have you heard of NSD spinner? It's more of an exercise tool, but it has that gyro tool. I've not heard of NSD spinner. Powerball is a forearm exerciser. What in the fuck? What? One minute, one powerful hand. Why is this thing so expensive? Jesus. The exercise your arms are missing. Get, you know, get that, that forearm strength. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> Pen VVVV says, what the fuck are you doing? Oh yeah, the, the, the cat gif, yes. Uh, typical step says, I have to get back to using both monitors for work, so I'll see you later. Well, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you around in the future. <clears throat> what do we got here? Is this the small version of this? <laughs> uh. Diary says, I looked at the Google Calendar stream schedule and it doesn't have you streaming every day. I thought you got laid off. Oh yeah, I've been really bad about updating the calendar. I should probably just remove the link. Um, it's it's hard for me. There's so many things to get set up with. Akata says, so I want to learn curves, but I think you mean curses. Um, is Vavu a good name for a text editor? <laughs> it's funny because I'm pretty sure um, I'm pretty sure someone wasn't sarcastic Dante working on a uh, an editor called Vavu, although he gave that up. But <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Rano GS7 says I'm learning Python. Nice watching your stream. Well, thanks for stopping by. Um, Red Calvitas says cool stream. It is, a, it is a cool stream. You also ask Vim or Emacs, and um, um, the answer is neither. I'm using my own text editor that I wrote from scratch called Babby, is, which is fun. Uh, what is it? An expensive spin? Hmm. Mine says, just got done with a demo-ready microservice. Oh, cool. Nice. Hard to describe, it has a gyro in it that you can speed it with a certain wrist motion and it can go up to 20,000 RPM. Jesus. And so you just like hold hold on and it, you know, stimulates the muscles, I guess. Makes sense. <clears throat> Tennis players use Powerball as an exercise. Oh, see. Cool. <sighs> Andrew Lane X, am I going to have to ban more phrases? And then there's the shake weight. Yeah, that was my first thought when I opened it up. I was like, this is just a, a different type of shake weight. Hmm. Can I merge this? I meant to click the Bhutan, but I did not click the Bhutan. No. I didn't say anything to you. You talked to my chat. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Okay, and let's see, what time is it? We've only been streaming for three hours, so but we're not going to be done yet, although I don't know, hmm, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done on my actual project. Oh, it's one person. <laughs> I'm I'm of the like the type of people that when I text I will write out my entire message and then press send. Um but a lot of people that I talk to will, you know, just write, you know, one word enter, one word enter, three words enter. And so you'll end up with like ten messages in a row from the same person. And that was one of these. But teach their own. I have no problem with the ten messages in a row. <clears throat> Line says, including punctuation, of course. <laughs> punctuation? <laughs> no, no, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> J. Mickey says, it's like, do you know? <laughs> yeah. Enter as a space bar. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> yes. Center key is not a replacement for the space. Yes. Oh! J. Mickey sponsored me on GitHub. Oh, it's private. Oops. <laughs> well, spoilers. Thank you for the sponsor. <laughs> Damn it, I should read the rest of it before I just <laughs> move my mouth. <laughs> Leaked! Sorry, bud. <laughs> um, but thank you. <laughs> Exploit. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> cool. All right, we have some other um, like eight stuff to look at. <laughs> Game breaking bug discovered. <laughs> Mine was here for the leak. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you got me, and I should. This is this is why I shouldn't read email on stream too. So uh, clearly, clearly. Okay, this is a change that we've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, but this just fixes exclude. Oh, interesting. That makes a lot of sense. This was this was an accidental regression that I committed. Let me actually zoom this out because it's really hard for me to see it right now. <laughs> um, so the change in this test here. Uh, parse CLI config now. Oh, nice. I like when people do this. This is this is a change that I make a lot where like this line is three lines. But you can, you know, make it one line. You can make it two lines instead by doing an extra assignment. I really like that. Uh, oh, <laughs> they also did it because they needed uh, other stuff. So. Um, but yeah, I like this change here. What we want things to do. Um, is it though? this file look like? Let me just clone this branch, so that's gonna make this way easier to look at. Get at GitLab, ICQA, like eight. Akita says, how the fuck do you have 259 contributions on May 11th? We actually did that on stream. Uh, so I can kind of show you what I did. I have this tool that I wrote called All Repos. So the, the answer is partially scripted. <laughs> uh, I wrote this tool called All Repos, and what it does is it allows you to clone all of your repositories and automatically apply sweeping changes. And on that day, if we look at my GitHub profile, on that day we ran an All Repos fixer which auto-upgraded all of my linters in all of my repositories. And uh, so if we click on this day, you can actually look at all of the changes that I made down here. And you can see, oh, some of them were other stuff. Like I apparently worked on my Twitch bot that day and I made thumbnails for YouTube. Um, I had some other commits here. But um, most of them were these 79 pull requests. And if we look at these, they're all pre-commit auto update. And this was done automatically from all repos. Oh, this one was done manually. I did automatically. This one, run pre-commit auto update. That's what the automated one. So, committed via this, and you can see like it auto bumped all these versions for me, and so it's it's scripted <laughs> is the answer. Uh, but all repos is actually I use it all the time. I'm really happy with it. Uh, but you can basically do like you know all repos grep uh, with something. Or maybe I want to find uh, an ast dot no visitor in in Python files, and now I find all the places where I made some recursive descent parsers for AST. And so you can do that and it'll tell you like, you know, distributed grep against all of my code bases. And it's pretty fast, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can do, you know, 
what repositories do this and so you can see like these are the repositories you can also you know put paths dash l and you could edit all those files and like there's all sorts of like kind of nifty things you can do there uh except i fucked up the grep oh we don't want dash dash repos just want the paths and so like we can quickly look at all of those files but it's it's kind of a you know pretty powerful tool i use it for a lot of stuff but that's why i have all that stuff um and yes github often crashes on my profile page um and I talked with GitHub staff and they're like, I don't know, there's some like Ruby SQL joins, so it takes forever. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was basically it. So I'm kind of shit out of luck. And so my, my page doesn't always load all that well, but that's the answer to that. Uh, Tono OMG says, hi, do you re recommend iOS or Windows for computer science study? Um. So my answer here is that I think you can use either. But I think Windows will be more painful in general for software development. Uh which is why like I like I'm on Windows right now like this is a sneaky virtual machine I'm actually running Windows 10 here. Uh, but I prefer to do development on Linux. But you can you can use any operating system to do pretty much all development unless you're doing platform specific development like you can't write an ios app on windows um, and you mostly can't write a windows form app on ios but whatever makes sense for you uh Zionix says hey anthony writes code is it true that lyft uses flask um am i allowed to say this now that i don't work there anymore Yes, Lyft uses Flask. Um, I'm sure it's public somewhere, so I can probably repeat it. But yeah, Lyft, Lyft uses Flask for all of their Python web services. <clears throat> it says, come on, it's not that bad. Uh, Elkhan's pointer says, do you prefer to be called a programmer, developer, coder, or engineer? I really don't like the word coder. And I think engineer is not fair to uh, people that are actually engineers. And I don't know. I think programmer is probably the one that I use the most or software engineer or software developer. Because uh, I think developer is not specific enough either. I don't know why I'm spending so much time in this. But <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, like software engineer or programmer are probably the two that I use. Um, or I will say that I write code. <laughs> All right, my channel name is Anthony Writes Code. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I, I tend to do there. Uh -oh. Check out, I think it's this one. Oh no, hopefully these will be done eventually. Hmm, software engineer is nice. Cool, that's, that's, that's another one that I like. Um, hey, what's up? Is that an M? Yes. Hey, what's up, Tam Gross? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I wasn't sure if it was an M or an RN, you know, kerning, kerning problems. And status. Okay, we got two patches here. Eric is very good about his code messages. That's why I'm reading them first. Okay, normalize paths in a big directory relative to the provided parent directory. Um, hey, what's up, Tono Triple Seven OMG and Rich W UK? Thank you both for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you. I hope your days are going well. Mine, I'm I'm feeling great. I'm in I'm in a good mood today. Oh man, things things are good. Zanik says, "Why did you leave Lyft? Are you a full-time open-source software developer now?" 
I was laid off. <laughs> Lyft laid off 17% of their workforce, and I was among the 982 people that were uh, that were laid off. And am I a full-time open source software developer? The answer is yes, but also no, because uh, it is not sustainable enough for me to make a living purely off of open source. Um, I do not make enough money to pay rent right now, if if that gives you an idea about how much money I make from open source. It's a clean up. <laughs> but for now, I'm uh, working on my own thing. I have a plan to build a project. Well, I've started building a project and I'm actually supposed to be working on it today. <laughs> Um, but a bunch of, bunch of uh, open source stuff happened first. Um, but I'm building a project which is going to be making a CI solution based around pre-commit. And the plan is to maybe be able to monetize it because it's very similar to what I've built at the last two companies I've worked at. And so I think I can, with, with my own resources and time, I can build a better version of what I've built twice for private companies. And, um, well, it'll also be great for open source, which is like really what I want it for. Um, but I'll also be able to add like a pro version for like private repositories and like an enterprise version for big companies and, you know, maybe even build a hosted version if there's demand for it and like, or not hosted, um, what was the word? The opposite of hosted, when you, <laughs> when you run your own copy on site, I don't know what it's called, but. Maybe I'll, I'll build that too if there's demand, but that's what I want to work on. Um, and no, software as a service is kind of the hosted version. Local version, yeah, something like that. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, enterprisey stuff where people want to run on premise. Marnix, yes. Oh, the real MVP. <laughs> yes, that's what I mean. Uh, on prem. Um, Looks like Kenbiko also says the same thing. And PWTD was too slow. But yes, uh, also build an on prem version. Uh, non -cons pointer, null cons pointer says, that's a sweet shirt. What is that? A shark hummingbird. This is a humming shark. Um, it's, it's a meme from a YouTube channel. Um, uh, hummingbirds are the sharks of the sky. Yeah. So this is from uh, Captain Sparkles, who said this once and then made some merch of it. And so this is this is the humming shark. Um, so <laughs> dumb, dumb nerdy shit. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a nice shirt. I like I got the one without the writing because I thought the writing was kind of dumb. But anyway, <laughs> that's what that's from. Uh, Rinse in the Bay Area, go brr. Yeah, you're right, Leon's on the server. Akatas says, are you looking for a job right now? Not at the moment. Um, I'm gonna try and build my thing for some amount of time. I'm gonna like time box myself to like six or nine months and then I'm gonna look for a job. I'm looking for a job right now sucks. It's rents are, or not rents, um, salaries are super depressed due to the economy. I'd rather not be paid less. Snapshot says, have you tried WSL in Windows and what do you think of it? Yeah, it seems good. Uh, the problem is it interferes with VirtualBox. That's why I don't use it. Um, yeah, because I use VirtualBox for things that are not just running Linux. So I still want to be able to do that. Um, and the hypervisor that they chose for WSL doesn't really work. So, yeah. <clears throat> Offers a service in a foreign cheap country. Yeah, that's what we really need, right? Uh, Tony, Tono OMG says, I think this stream might be a bit biased towards Linux, but if those two are your options, let me just say I've had a lot more problems with developing on Windows than on Mac OS. Yeah, I, th I think that's that's fair. Gail says, what's your progress so far? So on the last stream, we worked a little bit on like a mini design doc for stuff or like a design diagram for how things are going to work. Uh, and this is kind of what I came up with. And we worked a little bit on this builder component last stream. I was hoping to get to it today, but I don't think we're going to actually work on it much today, given how much open source stuff we've done so far. And I don't really want to start on it if I can't get a good chunk of it done on stream. 
but this is kind of the uh, setup for stuff. Hey, what's up, Mellow Mike 420 and Dune the Miserable? Thank you both for following and welcome to the. But uh, yeah, the basic design for what I want to build is people will make pull requests, which GitHub's you know black box will process. That'll send webhooks off to a, a web website web server that's uh, listening on webhooks, and that'll spin off the builder, which will uh, take their pre-commit configuration and build the hook environments that are necessary to run it. Uh, and this is like will be heavily cached. It will be based on like uh, some cache heuristics. I actually had like a huge epiphany right after I stopped streaming. <laughs> on Saturday about how to do this better because uh, I was trying to make them you know kind of fat cache bundles that would represent all of the different versions and download a bunch of unnecessary code uh, but I realized like right after right after I stopped streaming that I can put up the artifacts more granularly and solve all the problems that I was running into on stream last time anyway that's Minutia, uh, but once once it produces the or once it makes sure that the things are available in the build, uh, it will pull down each individual execution environment and pass that off to the runner, which will run the hooks against the cloned repository and uh, output like a diff, uh, a commit if needed, and a status, and that'll get sent back to GitHub to populate the commit status. So that's the basic. This is the kind of core product. And then this auto updater is a separate service, which will uh, kind of depend about sort of dealio uh, for auto updating pre commit uh, configuration version. Stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the design. Um, this part is super easy, so I haven't started working on it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be just like a you know 10 to 15 line. Maybe a little bit more because it has to make an API call, but this will be very simple. Um, this part is going to be pretty complicated, and this part is hard for, well, the builder and the runner are hard from a security standpoint because it's essentially arbitrary code execution, uh, running untrusted code in a trusted environment. So I need to, I need to think of a good way to sandbox things. I think for, um, for the runner, I think I can get away by just cutting off the network entirely um, and just run it in a in a place where it can't reach out to the network and that'll um, that will that will mitigate most of the ways that you would want to abuse security sensitive stuff there um, for this one it necessarily has to go to the network so I probably have to come up with another plan there that you know, limits the limits the blast radius so basically like probably run in a network isolated environment that only can talk to the public internet and don't store any credentials or anything anywhere on the box and run as a non-privileged user and like shroot jail and like all sorts of stuff like that. Um, but I need to do some research and thinking about that. That's kind of the hard part. But for now, what I'm going to prototype is, is not going to be secure. So. I'm going I'm to prototype something that'll just fucking work and then like I'll build the security into it later. It's not that the security is like, like usually when you're building something you want to be secure first. Um, but I'm not concerned about being able to adapt the ideas to be secure, so I'm not worrying so much about that. Um, I'm more trying to work out like how the bits are going to move around and then later I'll be worried about how, how I'll rate limit and, and do all that other stuff. Which the hard part. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of the status update on it. Um, Dave Pratt says, Jesus fucking Christ, my tests are failing against an in-memory SQLite database, but passing on disk. Oh no. <laughs> Is it due to like how things are flushing or whatever? I don't even know where I would start to debug that. That's unfortunate. Um, Stanislav says, what are the problems of the JSON format? Uh, I think there's really only one problem with it, and I think it's fixable. And I think JSON 5 is the solution. <laughs> I just wish they wouldn't say for humans. That was... Ooh. That was annoying. Um, 
this is the uh, the answer. That's the thing that's the problem with JSON. Uh, also this. Comments and trailer comments. That's, that's all I ask for. Um, but other than that, I think JSON's fine. Miko said that same thing. JSON doesn't allow comments, but it sure as fuck doesn't justify using XML instead. Yeah. Alex says, I just uploaded 20,000 images to Google Drive with 5 megabits per second upload speed, and it took two whole days. Jesus. Long ass time. Here to YAML. So here's the thing about JSON, is JSON spec fits on an index card. YAML spec is 74, 8.5 by 11 pages. So YAML is hilariously complicated. I've heard that YAML is a little bit more differently, and it cannot be not formatted. The problem with YAML is there's no consistent format. There's like four different ways to do everything. And so that's really annoying. I've also heard Anthony complaining about YAML and stream and wanted a new version of JSON. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm so fucking predictable, aren't I? Uh. I can work with JSON pretty easily using JQ, says Ted to a Niner. Yeah, there's also uh, this tool that uh, I don't have. Uh, GitHub.com. I never remember how to spell it. I can't remember whether it's two L's. A few people I follow on GitHub, so I'll just get my profile. Uh, but he wrote this tool called UQ, which converts a bunch of different formats to uh, to JSON, which makes it a lot easier to parse, and YAML is one of them. Uh, Kyle. Oh, I would have been right if I would have just guessed. All the thing. Oh, my go bin is not on my path. Go bin UQ. Uh, like, it'll load YAML files and convert them to JSON automatically for you. It also loads JSON too in a bunch of other formats too. So it's it's kind of a nice way to like have a universal courier. But often you just like UQ and pipe it into JQ. Things work well. Uh, Nice thing about JSON is how easy it is and how much support it is. Uh, yeah, how much support there is for it. Yeah. Trailing commas are not allowed in JSON. JSON 5 is a separate spec from JSON. They are unrelated, except that they share a name. Someone independently made JSON 5. It's not it's not part of Crockford's spec. Uh Milkons Pointer says, so someone would need to keep your stream open 24 hours a day for 19 days to reach a 24-hour stream. Seems good. Oh, is that how much 100,000 channel points are? I mean, what, I stream... I, I Looking at my dashboard, I average two and a half hours of streaming a day. So... That's, what, 70-ish? 75-ish hours a month? What happens at 100,000 channel points? I said I would do a 24-hour stream if someone ever reached that. Because I didn't think people could reach it, but it seems way more attainable than I expected. Hukatan <clears throat> says, oh shit, it's 3 a.m., have to sleep. Thanks for the stream. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you around in the future. Um, the only real problem I have with JSON is that I would love comments so much. Yeah, nuke for fun. Yeah, I agree. Comments, trailing comments. That that's the uh, That's what I want. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> okay, let me read these comment messages again because I got distracted while I was doing this. Yeah, you can do comments with that, but some tools are picky about extra keys that they don't know about, so it doesn't always work out so well. <sighs> Alright, so we've got two commits here because Eric is usually very good about separating stuff out. Let's look at the first commit. 
Hey, normalize pass. This sets things up to support normalizing pass relative to the parent directory. Okay, so this adds an optional parent, but it doesn't use it yet. Okay, so that's good. And then normalize paths in a CLI specific config relative to the config directory. Paths specified in the config file should be relative to the directory where the configuration file lives. Formerly paths were normalized relative to the current working directory where flightgate was invoked. The former behavior was not expected, especially for directory structures with subprojects. Greed can't show this. And passed in this value and then adjusted the test for it. Cool. Yes, I like this. I like it much. Uh, see if he has anything else to read here. That's just my formally fast word closes 651. Mm -hmm. I also commented something down here. Change that makes that uh, work by making or it does change the behavior tested in this. Three. Looks great. Thanks for working on this. I think this might require um hmm, now to release this as a bug fix or as a minor version. Not sure which one will confuse slash anger people more. What are your thoughts here? We'll see what Eric says to that. Um, he usually has good opinions on this stuff too. Oh. That one's related. Um, I got a comment from Max on the PR we just merged. <laughs> it just says awesome. Cool. Dope. Um, and we got a PyTest one we can look at. Yeah, we're just we're just going through my inbox today. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Um. <clears throat> Uh, I'm saving for that. 99, 70 and counting says got to be, you don't have that many. Camshot says, why not run Windows in VirtualBox on a Linux OS? Um, I play video games is one thing. Uh, OBS works better on Windows. I'm more familiar with Windows than Linux. I don't know, I could probably make it happen. But I would also have to reinstall my machine, which I'm not interested in doing. I also probably have some programs that only work on Windows that be annoying. I don't know. Rico's at 12.3k. It's getting up there. Uh, <laughs> Movie Jamal says, where's, the, where's, where's Juice? We need to transfer some of those channel points. Is he still in the stream? No. Not still here. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you guys can't pool your channel points. Does Anthony Wright's codebot have 100k? I don't know. Let me see if I can figure that out. Twitch, Anthony Wright's codebot. I don't know if the bot gets points just by being an IRC. Login. Oh right, you can't use it in a private browser. Ugh. Copy that. Anthony writes code bot. 
token. Auth token. Oh no, you guys are gonna see my Authy token. Nine, one, seven, four, three, five, six. So I go to Anthony Red's code. Let's see how many channel points do I have? <laughs> My bot has zero channel points. <laughs> how how do you have zero channel points? Uh, this is Anthony Red's code bot. Uh, zero. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it doesn't accrue channel points when logged in on IRC. It kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh well. <clears throat> you last love TS says I wanna keep watching, but I also have to go to bed. So bye, see you next time. Well thanks for stopping by. I'll see you around in the future. Uh <laughs> capitalization and exclamation marks. The beanie has changed you. Where did I where? Where did I where did I? Oh, there's no, there's bangs. I'll do bangs. There's no capitalization here. Like Windows is a proper noun. Sweet is the start of a sentence. There should be a period here. Uh, Nilk on Splinter says, what video games do you play? Honestly, I haven't played that many games recently. Uh, my favorite is the Borderlands series. Um, Really like Borderlands 2. I've played like 600 hours of that. Um, most of the other games I play are actually cross platform though, like Faster Than Light, uh, Minecraft. Uh, I play a lot of Pokemon in real life, but yeah. No points for being in IRC, yeah. Otherwise, I'd be drowning in some points in some channels, yeah. Hey, what's up, The Lone Wolf? Welcome back. Chaos Theme says you have to actively redeem them though. I think if you have the the um, the web chat open, you can make it happen without actually clicking on the little the little box. Bex says, according to my calculations, with a stream rate of two hours a day, it would take 228 days to get to the 24-hour stream redeem. Perfect. <laughs> we'll only have to do it for a while. I'm pretty sure someone is like halfway there already. Angel Enix says, I'm trying to understand Babby. Is file.py file draw the thing that renders the lines? Uh, let's see, what did we do for backwards.patch? Yeah, we modified draw. Um, you'll, so you'll have to modify, to add your fucking feature, you'll have to modify the move function and the draw function. And that's basically it. I use capitalization of the GitLab issue. Oh, man. Foiled. Foiled this time. Shit, man. This looks like I typed it out on a phone. Wait, did I only put one space after a period? What monster is this? Oh no, there's two spaces. I see. I can say. <laughs> yeah, man, what did I do? What's wrong with me? I look, I look like some kind of psychopath. <clears throat> Woody NYH says, are you using i3 gaps or are those just floating windows? These are just floating windows. I just happen to arrange them in, in almost the right spot. There we go. Now they line up. Hey, what's up, Zeton? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Nelcon Splinter says, I have a thousand hours in Team Fortress 2. Oh, uh, let's see. If you count up all my Pokemon hours, I probably have like a hundred thousand hours. A hundred thousand hours. How many years is that? Um, hey, what's up, Maypok? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hundred thousand hours in days. No, that would be like ten years of playtime. Although, then again, <laughs> um. I have a photo of this on my desktop that I can show you guys. I do. 
then again, I play five games at once, so I can accumulate more hours of, of playtime than there are hours in the day. And nowadays I'm usually playing more than one game at a time, so um, so it, it is possible with these, uh, these big brain multi-game strats. Um, but yeah, actually the crazy thing, this is, this is what I've been doing, like what I do when I exercise. So I'm actually on my exercise bike here. Um, I'm actually playing five different games and five different strategies at the same time, which is, which is wild. Um, but I grind shiny Pokemon, so that's what this is about. But anyway. Uh, where did that go? The other server, you're at 80,000 channel points? Damn, you're getting close. I feel like you can get that pretty easily. I think you can get that in like four streams. I feel like I get like 5,000 points a stream. Molov says, what's the arrow none after the function arguments? Um... I'll just pick a random file because it uh, surely has it. So this is a return type annotation. It's basically a fancy comment that other tools can interpret and then run like type checking and analysis on. Uh, I, use a, I use a tool called MyPy, which reads these. Uh, this is also a type annotation here. These are parameter annotations. This is a return type annotation. And do we have any variable ones in this file? And this is a variable annotation. Um, but yeah, and I, I hook up my pie through pre-commit. Uh, I opened the wrong file. Wait, what? where is my pre-commit configuration? Oh, I must have deleted it, right. I was demoing something. Must have tab completed the wrong file. But yeah, I run I run MyPy through pre-commit. Um, so that does type checking for me. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what that's about. Uh, Miko says, wait, why was my message blocked? Oh, did you uh did you say the magic words? <laughs> I have one blocked phrase in my chat. <laughs> because of Andrew Lane. Uh, hey, what's up, TJ Two Piece? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Genius stunks. <laughs> Louis Jamal says five games, but you only have two hands and two. Uh oh, <laughs> no. So the the way I play is um, I have my black 3ds in my right hand and the, or my left hand, and then I play four games with my right hand. Um, and occasionally I need to press two buttons or two buttons at once, so I temporarily take my hand off of the four other games to play the, the black 3ds but that's that's how i play five games at once um someone said hi and i forgot to say hi to them echo oh hey julian hello hello welcome welcome to the stream welcome back julian works on python stuff he's a uh, big in the community <laughs> uh Nobody says wait you hunt shinies, that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I do a lot of shiny Pokemon. Uh I have a spreadsheet for it. Um which shows my progress of getting all of all of the shiny Pokemon. I'm currently working on what, seventh gen? Is that what it's called? Three, five, six, eighth gen. Currently working on eighth gen. Um but I have a bunch of like data and stuff and like I think I just recently got my 800th shiny which the math for that is uh, the, the math for that is why this doesn't seem that unreasonable um yeah the other server says when you rub the points you get doubled oh when you're a sub <laughs> it's gonna say Rub the points to get double. That's that's how that works. 
Uh, Baby Pratt says, I'm a dumbass. I was creating two connections to the database, once my setup and then in my test, and was creating two in-memory databases. Oh, I see. I see. Lone Wolf says what word? Um, no, it's it's the, the, the homeland phrase is still still up for grabs. You can still do that. Uh, Ed 209 says the AWS client returns JSON, so I have to figure out how to work with it. So in Python, it's easy. There's a JSON module. Um, but yeah, JQ is also pretty, um, pretty good there. You're a wizard gamer. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Rex says, what is with the protecting the homeland bot post? So this is a good story. Um, I, I've told this a couple times, but we'll tell it again. Um, when I was pretty new streamer, actually, I think you can see this on that website. Um... You guys know what this website is called? You can like look up your channel and it tells you your stats over time. Social Blade, that's what it's called. You can actually see the blip on Social Blade. Um, but I was streaming a long time ago, not Twitch. There it's code. <laughs> I like how it had like all of my GitHub search recommendations in there, like cool. Um, well, maybe you can't see the blip anymore. Oh no, here it is. Um, yeah, so several thousand bots came to my channel all at once and all followed at the same time on September 23rd of 2019. And they spammed uh, They spammed this into the chat over and over and over and over, just like completely flooded the chat. With hundred hundred like or 1,500 people at once. And um, this translates in Russian, uh, from Russian to, we will protect the homeland, or we will protect our homeland. And so that's why it's a bot canned, just to be, just to be cheeky. But, yeah. B minus. This is better than it was. I was a, I was a C minus for a while, so. Moving, moving on up in the world. Look at this nice, nice growth here. But anyway, stonks. <laughs> that's that's why that can't exist. Nobody says. What is your favorite shiny Pokemon? Um, hmm. There's a couple that I really like. Um, shiny Mew is a good one. Like this really good blue color. I really like that. Uh, Latias is another good one. Uh, I especially like the green eye that it gets. I really like that. Um, Rayquaza is another good one. Like, badass black thing. Um, yeah, those are some of my favorites. I also like Voltorb. It's a really good blue color. Uh, I liked its color in 4th gen, though. Uh... What this game's called? Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, I liked this this full torp shiny sprite. This is this is my my fave. Really like this one. Anyway, those are some of my shiny, favorite shiny Pokemon. <clears throat> Elian says, Anthony, do you use Ubuntu as a main operating system or in a VM or a dual boot? Uh, so the answer is yes to that. <laughs> Depending on what computer I'm on. Uh, in this one, I'm in a virtual machine. So this is Windows with Ubuntu as a VM. <laughs> the reason I have to do that silly head shake is um, my keyboard cam is like right in front of my face. I'll show you a picture of that. It's really janky, but it works. Come on, Twitter. Why are you not? Oh. Oh, do I have to scroll back for it or can I? Can't do next? Ugh. Scroll a little bit. <laughs> or do I have it on my desktop? Maybe I have it on my desktop. Yeah, I do. Here we go. <laughs> this is why I have to like crane my neck around, uh, because my VM taskbar icon is like right here, so I, I can't see it. But yes, um, 
So on, on this computer, I use a VM. Um, but on my media desktop in my living room, I only run Linux. Um, I have dual booted, so when I had a work laptop, I dual booted Linux on there. Um, Linux, Linux, Linux and Mac OS, which was, which was a mess. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that answers that. <laughs> Damn it, the endless server. Uh, what day was that? September 19th of 2019. Gadvv says, do you have plans to fix that? Fix what? What am I fixing? My, my B minus? I mean... My cam? Oh. I don't know what I would do, because, like, it doesn't, this camera doesn't have, like, zoom, so even if I, like, somehow mounted it, oh, it's pretty risky. If I mounted it up here, I could realistically do, it shows a lot of my desk, and it's still, like, not out of my face. So that's, that's a potential, an idea. It would be way less painful. Yeah, yeah, you also don't need a keyboard cam. I could just get rid of it. Um, but when I work on electronics, it's useful. Like when I work on my, my Switch controller project. I gave an update last year, but I can give it again. Um, this isn't even the right chip. This is the BLE chip. Um, but when I worked on electronics, it's kind of nice to show that. Uh, it's really frustrating to have it in front of you. It's actually not that bad. It works it works fine for me. I, I've gotten used to, like, ignoring that it's there, but... Um... Email server says, do you have a DSLR? I have a really old DSLR camera. I don't have one for streaming. Uh, I just use... what is it? The one, it's the Logitech camera that everyone has. The C790 or something? Oh no, I have a C910. A 970 that everyone has? I have this camera. It's kind of old now that I think about it. What's the one that everyone has now? The 970? No, it's the 920 that everyone has. Yeah. But I have the 910. It's kind of old, but... I don't know. Works well enough. Yeah. It's, decent. It's, it's not the best quality, but it's good enough, I guess. <clears throat> Andrew Lanex says, Poor progress. Oh boy. Yeah, you need to offset the syntax highlighting. That's the chgat function, the, the change at, um, which is also in that draw function right at the end. Uh, the Lone Wolf 7676 says, How old are you? I am 28 years old. You can do her eyes and tell us the name of your camera. Yeah, I guess it probably looked pretty weird as I was like. <laughs> Staring close at the fine text there, but it doesn't say what it is. It just says Carl Zeiss SR HD 1080p Whatever that means uh, Canon has software where you can use your DSLR as a webcam. Old ones work as well. Oh, interesting Hmm Maybe dig that out And then I could use zoom and it actually has much better quality Maybe I'll look into that in the endless river. That's uh, something for me to think about. Daniel4223 says, do you like NumPy? <sighs> that is a funny question. You are, you are a funny person. Let me look through all of my code and see if I ever use NumPy. Oh, what? Things come up? Oh, talks and pie test. Uh, grab dash V. Uh, 
This is the only reference. I guess I could have just done grab base tilly. That would be better. This is the only reference to NumPy in any of my code bases, and it's in a string for code block parsing. So the answer is no. I do not like NumPy. I think it is unnecessary in most cases. And people will uh, use it when they don't need it. But. <laughs> Yeah, no, not really. Uh, you got into our souls, not just our eyes. Oof. Bubba GB says, not too old, though. Feel fucking old sometimes. This is a very geeky way of yelling no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, indeed. Indeed. Alright, so... Uh, how long have I been streaming? Almost four hours? I think the Canon D3100 was the last DSLR that couldn't stream. Oh, I don't think I have a Canon camera. I have a Kodak camera. But, I don't know, I might be able to hook up some sort of adapter thingy to it. Who knows? But, I don't know. I didn't get to work on my project today, which I'm a little bummed about. Um... But I think I'm going to end the stream here and find someone to raid because I'm hungry. I didn't have lunch. Five o'clock. And um, yeah, <laughs> stuff. Um, but let me. Yeah, if you guys have suggestions for raid, leave them in the chat. Uh, let me do my little spiel and then we'll go find some minute raid. Can we go this fine? I'll go to work then. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I upload all my content to YouTube after the fact, so that's youtube.com slash anthonyretzcode. Thank you, Pubba GB, for the follow. Welcome as we're heading off. Um, and let's see, we I uploaded previous streams, but I've also been uploading this Anthony Explains series, which is pretty fun. Um, I basically you know, answer questions similar to how I answer questions in Twitch chat, but then I record a short little video and it ends, ends up on the YouTubes. Um, but that's pretty cool. I, now that I'm laid off, <laughs> I've been streaming a lot more. Basically, I don't know, I'm probably gonna come up with a schedule so that I actually, like, stick to it more, but for now it's mostly been Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, uh, sometime in the morning. Um, uh, but I, I definitely stream at Saturdays at 11 a.m. And I announced those in two places. One of them is on Twitter, and that's twitter.com slash codewithanthony, so you can follow me there to get notified of that and I usually say something like I'm gonna stream in 45 minutes and stuff I'm gonna work on although not end up working on this so <laughs> it's 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 hopeful uh and you can join the discord where I also announce um streams oh. he just says Nina is supposed to be streaming soon oh should I wait for her stream when is she gonna stream uh This is a pinned tweet, so it's not that one. When is when is Nina supposed to stream? Is she already streaming? So we could raid her. Um, but yeah, let's let's go raid someone. 